Oh. Now you gotta start over. Do niggas even remember that song for Hell real? Yeah. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Step Pants. I don't think that's where we were going. <laughs> Step Pants is crazy. <laughs> Holy. Good morning, good Step afternoon, world. Step Bob. Nah, it's Step We are back, fair to say, episode 36. <laughs> What's happening? And look, man, it's been a long time, <laughs> Doodle man. Bob. I've been one. <laughs> I've been wondering where this man has been, bro. I thought he just came to the FMW, fair to say, table one time, showed his face and said, fuck these niggas. This ain't for me. That's exactly what I did. I was Damn. Like, That's exactly what I, was I said. <laughs> Try to keep the video. Y'all must still was rolling when I walked out. Uh, I don't know how you heard my exact words. Oh, it's fair to say, Tuck Weezy's back at the table today. Yay! Oh, that was so unenthusiastic. We gotta be no, better. No, you gotta add it in. You gonna add it in and post. The little post yeah. applause. HGB. We ain't got no buttons over here. Well, welcome back, my G. My good, good to have you, brother. Scotty back in the cut. Good to be here. Miss Ella and the Brown in the front. Hey. And this is what we doing. Sponsored by Underdog, man. How we feeling today? Under, under. Feel good, dog. man. I'm yeah, good. it's a good day today, man. It's nice and sunny. You know what I'm saying? I'm liking it. Feel good. Yeah, it wasn't too hot. That's some light skin shit to say. It's <laughs> nice and sunny. <laughs> nice and sunny? It's, it's nice I'm and glad sunny. I didn't say it. It's, I appreciate the sun. It's crazy because when you light skin, they, they just make anything sound. Like, how is that bad because it's nice and sunny? How's that light skin? It's nice and sunny. You got this poncho on? That's crazy. <laughs> oh my you got a punch on. He been waiting crazy. to get that off. Hey, 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 he been uh, holding on to that I, I beat you in a race last time. Don't let me beat you in slap boxing. Come oh on now. God. Damn. Oh yeah, we haven't seen it happen yet. They just oh they didn't see it. They did. Oh, it dropped. Well, in case we, we had the hands. <laughs> yeah, we had some. That was if you caught the uh the the pump fake of the episode. Cause you know. It was like seven hundred people in there. Yeah. Yeah, we had. Some What's th- going on with that? Why we, we had some technical no- difficulties last week? Last week with the upload. Yes, um, and you know, we'd rather have Everybody's we'd rather have oh, seamless streaming, top quality content than give half ass content. So six and them made an executive decision. Let's pull that episode down real quick and make sure it's uploaded right. And you know, we finagle some things. Yeah, everybody was having trouble with their uploads. I saw people complaining about uh, shame on you. She's mm. coming on late, us coming on late, everything. We had to figure some things out, but we got it together, y'all. We're going to be all right. I understand there's a lot of data that FMW's, yeah. excuse me, uploading on a daily basis. Just yesterday or uh, Thursday, whenever y'all see this, there was like back to back to back content from BOF in the morning, straight into community, straight into what can go wrong, straight. It was just like nonstop, you know, content. So I'm sure those data pages are overwhelmed at times with uploads so yeah you know but quality content is all that matters yeah we're gonna be all right they don't want to hear them damn excuses so what's the word Drop six times a day Man. fuck what you got going that's on that's so crazy that you say that because i really do feel like that is a thing like the the viewers and the supporters they they want to see more of everybody mm, so sure. they be like drop we don't care yeah but then you have to that y'all complain when it's choppy or when it's lagging or when, or when we cut off somebody wrong, else's show right or when we on each other time slides yeah. and all that stuff like that so i mean yeah it's so a, it's a it's all like growing pains mm-hmm. it's a learning lesson yeah the scheduling but it's all going well man we're working on some things tell wheezy man you've been here been here in a minute what's up with you brother you got some new shit going on man you know what i'm saying same young day, memphis same day different shit different different day same shit yeah, you said you've been traveling a yeah. little bit. Got some shows or something coming up. I'm traveling, uh, I got a stand-up show at the Comedy Chateau Sunday. That's mm. it, I think like seven thirty. Where's that at? Um, it's in North Hollywood. Okay, no ho, North Hollywood Chateau, De Comedy. Uh, I just dropped a song called "She Very Demure." Oh, okay. okay. On all streaming. That's no. far. That's oh, all streaming right. platforms too. Mm-hmm. Uh, we gotta check that out. Is it, is it serious or is it like comedic? Uh, it's a little, little bit of both. A little bit of both. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. But that's yeah, that's, a, that's yeah, a good yeah. reach. So as far as your stand up, um, you do that often. It's can't. St- I mean, obviously you've done a lot of things in comedy, from what I've seen. Uh, mm-hmm. Is stand up something you prefer, or is that like? Is it only certain times that you want to do stand up? Is it something you prefer to do all the time? Like, what's your outlook on it? Uh. Because Duno's been doing a, a shit ton of stand-up lately. Yeah. And, you know, you find that pocket. So, just, you know, is it is it comfort thing for you? I feel like stand-up to me is like that bad bitch that you love hanging out with, but too much 
a drain mm. you. <laughs> That's a cold analogy. Too much a drain. It's too, it's too much of a of a bad. So bit. I got to take a break from her. Mm. I fuck with a tough. Mm -hmm. Then come back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Is it difficult when you uh, step away and come back? Is it like a, a, a nervousness or a fear? Um, coming back to that bad bitch. <laughs> that bad bitch. No, as I'm as I'm walking up to the door, I'm nervous because I ain't seen it in a minute. But then once the door open <laughs> and she got them shorts on, it's back to normal. It's back to normal. <laughs> I, oh yeah, I forgot. This is the crazy analogy. Crazy. Oh, shorty. <laughs> no, that's, that's why I fuck with shorty right there. Damn, you yeah. got the snacks. You know I love them hot funyuns. Also, hot funyuns is crazy. Hot funyuns. I don't know what you can uh, reference that to, but I hope my girl ain't got no hot funions. <laughs> no, no, no. Hot, hot funions. That's chips, nigga. Oh, okay. Funions are chips and the hot variety of funions. I think he was still stuck on the fact the that you were walking the up taste. to the shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. No, said, the, I miss them no, snacks. No, yeah, them snacks, but also she had actual snacks. There you go. Ready for you. Like, damn, you got the shit that I like. Not His bitch don't smell like hot funions. No, she don't I was smell hoping. Like I didn't hot know hot how funions. far his comedic genius was going right no, there. No, I've but never I heard anybody refer to anybody part as hot funions. Y'all eat, eat funions? I love no. funions. No. When I get my nigga on, I love some, some funions. I you do. Know? I love funions. Could I just see a video of somebody putting hot Cheetos in their... Oh, the G Herbo interview that dropped on... G Herbo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Herbo. Herbo, excuse me. <laughs> Made that nigga Herbo? sound Herbo. vegan. <laughs> G Herbo. G Herbo. I think of Herbo. I don't know why I would say Herbo, but I Herb. guess yeah, G Herbo. Yeah, that interview on BOF. I seen this nigga pour hot Cheetos in a funny bag. I'm like, ooh, that nigga breath gonna be hot. Them stomach gonna hurt. Hot Cheetos in the funny. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what happened when you wake up the next morning after getting you a nigga old, snack. That good old guilty pleasure <laughs> snack. Nigga snack. Always have some back draws. <laughs> I'm trying to think what's a like Yeah, I guess so. Did y'all eat hot Cheetos with the cream cheese? What the My what? My girl still do that. That's fire. Hot Cheetos and cream cheese. Hot I Cheetos is like balancing it out or some shit. You know yeah. what I hate? When niggas put hot sauce on popcorn. I don't like that. That shit It'd is all soggy. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, that shit in a like oh. long ass time. That's some country ass shit for real. But. Or, or Kool-Aid pickles. Kool-Aid Kool pickles, pickles, nigga. I, I ain't had a Kool-Aid pickle. That to me damn near sounds like a motherfucking. I was a kid. That's some nigga yeah. shit, yeah. man. Like, that's some real nigga. That's some candy like shit right I was just about to say, that's some candy house shit. That's like you hear it, but you've never seen nobody do it. I seen it. It. You see people do it. Bro, I know. They, I've seen it. They used to run it. to the ice cream every flavor, flavor, nigga. Yeah, Ooh. hell yeah. I'm That's up. some growing up in the hood. Kool Aid shit. pickle connoisseur, yeah, nigga. That was me. Kool Aid pickle. <laughs> Kool Aid pickle. <laughs> pickle. That was me. Kool Aid pickle connoisseur. The corner store I had all had that them. shit. The candy lady, their candy house. Candy lady. That's where you go. Wow. She'll have like the uh, the ices and the little styrofoam yeah. cup. I know. I've seen the hot Cheetos, hot Cheetos and pickles, but not icy. Yeah. Like the frozen cup. Y'all yeah. call it cool, icy. a cool cup? Yeah. A cool cup? What the hell do y'all call it? We call it a freeze cup. Cool oh, yeah, cup no. sound crazy. That's, That's like words. Louisiana a freeze shit. cup. What are we talking about? The little talk, icy. The, when you know, you, get you, like a you flip it over. Oh, and the bottom yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what the term, term was for that. Yeah, I didn't know how to call term. it freeze cups. Because it was, it was icy. frozen yeah. in the cup. No, icy is what you get from the gas station. Okay. No, that's a slurping. That's an icy. I mean, it's crazy change. how regionally that, that there's different terms. It is so I mean, slurpy. Like if you go into the store to get one, we saying I want to get a slurpy. But if you at the crib or Slushy. going yeah, to the candy right. house, That's what it's it is. the icy. Okay. What do y'all call sodas? Where y'all Pop. Pop from the Midwest. That's drink. not even. That's not I, even. I, I say drink. I've never used pop? the word pop, pop in my life. Ask anybody in the Midwest. They say I know pop. people that pop do that. ain't regional. That's an age didn't, thing, bro. That's an age regional. That's for sure. You hung out with your grandma. You say pop. Give me the soda pop. Get that cold pop out of the fridge. Soda. You know, I didn't start saying soda till I went to Texas, and they used to grind my fucking ears. Like, why are you calling this a soda, bro? Because they say soda in Texas. Soda. My family in Detroit. I mean, my family in Detroit say pop. The other family in Dallas wild. say soda because it's a racist. They, they, you're <laughs> soda. Don't give me one of them damn sodas. They yeah. trying to say soda. They just yeah. come out soda. <laughs> it just says give me one of them damn sodas. That's That's crazy. Crazy. I don't like, say pop just, no more though. It's out of my vocabulary. I don't ever I say, say drink. It. I've always said drink. It's crazy because I, I want to drink. I was on the drink. phone yesterday going to get like some washing detergent. I said uh, washing powder. 
And the girls yeah. on the phone, when she was on my head, she said, I, that's like some ghetto shit. Washing powder? No, Washing it's powder? just a different yeah, taste. Yeah. 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 It means the same thing. It means the same thing, though, right? It's not detergent, though. Detergent is the liquid, right? I meant detergent. I know. said powder, though. It do sound, because it's like, it's almost like, I know a lot of people still use powder, don't get me wrong, but it's almost I don't like, use powder. Let's get who clear. really used powder? <laughs> when I was a kid, Scoop we used to have that powder, that though. Shit. Yeah, I think we granny. did, too. Yeah, we did scoop it out. My yeah, big That big orange square bottle. And if you really was a leader, you pour the first layer with no clothes and you put the second layer there. Yeah. 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 Make them like a cake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're actually not supposed to do cake. that. You're supposed to, the detergent's supposed to you dissolve in the water first. Yeah. Oh, no, because it'll cake on your clothes. Yeah, it's it will cake on the clothes. It's like, damn, I do it again. I gotta go to school. All white on there, on that mug. He busted that on himself. Freak ass boy. I never really thought about that all the time. Like how many different things we all say from different places. Mm-hmm. That's like the whole food slap versus music slap. We don't. It's food don't slap. Food That's crazy. don't slap. And I think the Bay is the only food place that say slap in like smack. Anyway. Food smack. Food smacks. Say, we say fire. Like yeah. in the south, we say that shit fire. That shit fire. That shit fire. Yeah. yeah. Fire is for something else, right? Uh, in Memphis, we call it checking. Checking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh damn. So I thought you said y'all checked you or what? Cause checking yeah, out here versus yeah. checking out, I guess two different things. Joan and yeah, it's like, it's like yeah. you checked me, nigga. No, you didn't. Like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That made more dangerous. But nah, checking is is roasting in Memphis. Yeah, they used to say sigging. Sigging in the Bay was one for a little Sagan? while. Sigging, that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't ever understand where that, that sounded like from. a dance. Yeah, I never understood where that came from. That was like East Bay though, not not San Francisco. And I mm. never understood where that came from. But it's a lot of words that I feel like people say that you don't know the origin of how it came about. No, they just stuck in society. Yeah. It's just... Like, we say you on tuna, and nobody knows huh? where that came from. <laughs> you on tuna? <laughs> and I'm like, that nigga's on tuna. Like, that like, means you're on bullshit. Fish? Like you, oh. Okay, so but is I, tuna bullshit? nobody knows where it came from. Like, to this day. One nigga just started saying, was like, we don't I know like the originator. That. I don't, don't know. That. Like, I always think about that. I always be like, hey, who came up with tuna? Like where did Nobody that come know. from? Why do we say that? And it's just like I don't know. That shit can. That niggas on tuna. Like, who knows where they came from? No okay. Knows. That niggas on tuna. It yeah. makes sense. Or though. you are tuna. Fish. That nigga is That's tuna. Why I like the like. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that nigga is tuna. <laughs> like he on tuna. That boy tuna. Okay, that boy tuna. Damn, <laughs> gotta use that. Gotta use that. Throw that in the fuck arsenal. Around, fuck around, add that to my You gotta be repertoire. careful though. You say certain things like, nigga, what you talking about? What you mean? Like, nigga, what's that? What tuna, the fuck? Tuna might be disrespectful. It to means somebody. something else out here. It do. So tuna out here is turned up non affiliate. Which is basically somebody oh, the, that's the with the shit, but not actually like put on a set. Out here, I, I never heard never that. Known that. I only I'm know that from watching. That they they like brought that. that up on one of the shows. I think I've ever heard that. And name. I was like, what? Turned up non affiliate tuna. Yeah. Why niggas gotta turn food into man? You know what? <laughs> Don't get shit. Glad Dijon ain't here. It would have tuna. Did somebody say tuna? Yeah. <laughs> hey, nigga, be root. That nigga be with it. It is what it is. But all right, man. Before we go ahead and get into our hashtag, is it fair to say you cannot forget to download Underdog? We tell you every episode, every show. <laughs> Big dogs <laughs> in the building. Underdog. Under, 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 underdog. Oh, this sound like Y'all a kennel. That? Kyle Mass. Mm-hmm. Underdog. Oh yeah, yeah, the Disney cartoon. Channel. Yeah, 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 for sure. Shout out to it Kyle. Wasn't a, it wasn't a cartoon, but all right. it wasn't. Nigga, that big red. Oh no, no, no. Oh, yeah, Kyle, yeah. Mass, Kyle Mass. He had a cartoon where he voiced over. That's my. Oh, okay, problem. that was. Something I, that's else. why I was. But yeah, thinking. Underdog was a, a superhero dog. Oh yeah, yeah, I know Underdog. <laughs> crypto, the super dog. You ever you see that? I remember that crypto. was hard. Though. Yeah, that was hard. I remember Under. crypto. Under. Y'all know about Clifford? Under, I'm just, oh, under, I know about Clifford. No. I just don't think I could think of because I'm old. Because you got that red shirt on. The big red dog. Speaking of dogs, underdog. Download that right now using code FMW to get up to $1,000 in bonus cash. The link is in the chat and the description. Later on, we will have some picks for you, so make sure you have the app downloaded and deposit a few bucks. WNBA is going right now. I know there's been a lot of talks about uh, it's playoffs, I believe. So teams are getting put out. The stakes are high. And I feel like when you have a playoff series, when it comes to things like underdog, it's easier to make your your uh, educated guesses on what you want to pick when a team plays a team multiple times because mm-hmm. you know they strategically lock in on that team. It's probably data. easier to know who's playing mm-hmm. and know how much each t- player is going to score and et cetera. So mess with that WNBA man and put some of those higher or lowers in and win you some chili. You know what that just made me think about? Did you hear about that guy? You know how people like crack uh, backs codes? Oh. 
My bad. I, I need to go to the chiropractor. Forgot who we got here. I need to go to the chiropractor. My bad. <laughs> um, it was a guy that ended up like paying so much attention to the WNBA and like women's sports yeah. that he was able to accurately make picks based on how the women were going to play because he figured out like their their relationship statuses, their like menstrual oh, cycles, wow. everything. Like, and he was hidden. Every single time. You don't time. even think about that. Is what, but what he was just, would a was, WNBA player play different during her time of the month? For sure. That's just like the two. Um, they play better or worse? Probably a little bit worse because we're in pain. And you can't Not take in the like mood. a sick day. You, you might bully up, don't be. I'm about to say, yeah, bully up, right? It ain't the time. I mean, yeah, I have to apply for sure. Bring on him. Bring it on him. Just started. Bring it she don't have a mental cycle. She might not. She might not. I just started. I got one in right now. <laughs> oh, that would be nah, crazy. Like, all of that shit makes a difference and you That's never wild. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> oh shit! That's, That's not helping. I got one in right now. It's so out of what pocket. The fuck? What the fuck? Right now, I got one in right Don't now. It's wild. Y'all, you oh, are y'all talking about? You yes. been with your bitch way too long because yeah. you are far too invested. Yeah. In the undercarriage of a woman oh, to know that. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, this nigga said I got one in the chamber right, right now. now. Oh shit! Oh no. my god! I didn't think nobody caught it when I said it. The six caught it. That's oh, insane, my goodness. bro. But you don't think about you that. Don't, I didn't like I've about noticed that, that the uh, they just so there were there are two women that are dating that just had to play each other. Do you see where they're uh, flirting with each other? Is that who you're talking about? No, they're actually in a whole relationship and they had to play against each other. And that's you don't crazy. think about that How concept. How that could go into effect on because her Because WNBA, NBA, it's not the same, obviously. Oh, there aren't openly. Yeah. I mean, that probably happened before. Yeah, it'd be undercover oh, probably, though. But yeah, but I'm saying there aren't openly. Oh, true. They're not openly <laughs> gay oh, men. You let me get that layup, didn't you? Right, right. <laughs> so they were like. Put me in the chilling. post, baby. Put me in the post. <laughs> box out, box out, yeah, box yeah, out. Box me out. I just saw a video. Yeah, box Hi, me out. Me up. Yeah. Foul. Yeah, think about that. You playing against somebody you think look good, like as a girl. And you know, a lot of, I guess the stigma is a lot of WNBA players do like women. And I hope I'm not just categorizing or stereotyping. You all. It seems like. <laughs> That's your ass. No, I'm going to give you that. Like, I'm going to give you that because I feel like this, specifically this season, mm. we've seen a whole nother level of just interest in the WNBA. We're mm. learning more about mm -hmm. these players. Yeah, They're yeah, more yeah. active on social media. They're really like accepting everything about the WNBA. So we are actually seeing See, a lot a more, more women that are comfortably yeah. like comfortable openly <laughs> expressing their sexuality. So he's not wrong. <clears throat> yeah, so I think that could go yeah. into effect. You, yeah. you don't think about those things. Time of the month, you know, just emotions. Women are more naturally more emotional and things like that. And then I just seen a video of two. It looked like, I don't know if it was true. It looked like two women, they were on the foul line. Somebody was shooting free throw and like they were flirting with each other. Mm -hmm. On the opposite team. I bet you did. Like, imagine shit. going out playing against somebody. Like, Ooh, girl, I can't wait for I you like, to put me in the post. See, see, I'm gonna get behind that. Imagine you at the free throw and this nigga Dwight at the line flirting with you. Oh, God, God, God. He it to me. God. That big seven foot ass <laughs> nigga. He said, Back to niggas for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's I was cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What y'all talking about? Back to niggas though. Back to Dwight Howard, nigga. Back to man, specifically. All the niggas you could have said, bro. I mean, that's the only nigga that was. I mean, yeah, but damn. <laughs> I mean, listen, man. Back, back, don't forget about the niggas. Listen, Come on, man. You need a little polarity, man. The niggas both love. Hey, that nigga's 6'10". That nigga's 6'10". Stay better like watch, watch out. Nah, don't watch out. That ain't stat, don't you mean? Oh that's insane. I don't play basketball. Uh, Stet do. Nah, don't even put that on. You brought it up. That's, <laughs> what, that's who you want to watch. Up. Your numbers on the board. That's nigga. who you want to be shooting free throws that's with. That's who you had in the chamber, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> 265 is crazy. You had the light in your chamber. It's crazy. Whoa. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo. I his chamber. I was saying he had the name locked and loaded. You took it to another level. You hey, a freak man. Yo. I'm hella mad because when six, six was just trying to search it right now and all I saw on the screen was how much Dwight Howard. That was it. There was so much. <laughs> Skip. Exit that time you about. You Google that name? Oh, we didn't, we didn't cut it off. It was a sick ass search that mark. Like oh my God. I don't want to know the rest of it. How much Dwight Howard is enough? That's that's yeah. that's the question. As we can go back and talk about the sun. It's, it's sun is fuck outside. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. so good, man. The sun just on my skin. Oh my god, that shit fuck. is hilarious. That's bro. crazy. But yeah, I guess play like, for the sun. So Never be mind. smart when wagering on women. Uh, when you when you make your picks. 
wagering on WNBA sports. I fantasy say, sports, so fantasy, fantasy, fantasy sports. picks. Fantasy. Picks. Okay, oh. let's go right into fair to say. Let's do it. I'm going to just kick it all the way off with uh, okay. this, this one comes from the home team. This yeah. is a. Uh, this was sent in by uh, at only six. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me clear nigga. my throat before I say this one. Say, say, it, like, say, it, like, say it like it's written. I will. Is it fair to say? Fuck all that peaceful shit. Fuck Aiden Ross. <laughs> Fuck Aiden Ross, <laughs> nigga. Susan Ash. Yeah, right, right. You know why? Oh yeah, I know why. Susan why? Shit. All right. Okay. So since Ted Weezy's not familiar, you don't know why? Mm. No, you, I, you're I, a real I, Memphis nigga. Where the fuck you been at? I've been. It just, like, well, Memphis, nigga. <laughs> it did just go crazy yesterday, pretty much more so than anything. So we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's do a quick summary. Uh, top five is a, is a gentleman from Canada who recently got out of jail who is an affiliate of Drake. Okay. He got on live um, with academics and Aiden Ross and pretty much was getting out his, spewing out his narrative. And it was saying, like, I fuck with Drake, I fuck with Aubrey. If anybody got smoke with him, we got smoke with them. We want to look at the um, Not Like Us video and see who all was in there. Pretty much just saying he's out of jail now. He's on time, man, pretty much. Okay. Um, Smack got wind of this. Okay. And you know where this is going? Uh, I can t- and as soon as you say Smack got wind of this, uh, yeah, I know where this is going. <laughs> Smack caught, New- exactly Smack caught Newport wind of this. Yeah. <laughs> Newport wind And his is nose insane. turned up and said... Fuck Aiden Ross. Yeah. It's a no fly zone. Yeah. Fuck you. He said a lot. Uh, pretty much. Fuck uh, your mama. Fuck, fuck your mama. You said fuck your mama, kid. Fuck yo. To be fair, no, top, he five, said, he said all that. top five yes. said anybody on stage is going to get it. And yeah. Smack was on stage. He yeah. said, we're going to sit down and we're going to watch the pop up, the pop out, and we're going to go one by one and we're going to look into all of y'all niggas. That's insane. And we're going to figure out who each and every one of y'all is, pretty much. And so everybody pretty much. But Aiden it. Ross was also co signing wow. some of these sentiments. I guess, yeah, I know he's a big Drake supporter over Kendrick. I no, think. No, he's a Drake dick writer. There's a difference. Oh well, he's a Drake supporter over Kendrick, and so people obviously have some type of a feeling about that. So he rides with that, and he was co-signing and laughing with it. So he got thrown into the bunch, and mm. now Smack is pretty much pretty much said no fly zone. He called into community and said he wasn't welcome in L.A. and blah blah blah. And Aiden Ross responded in pretty much uh, I don't care really what he said, but in so many words, he pretty much said he'll come to L.A. He don't give a fuck. He used to live here. Nobody's going to touch him. He's got security that's going to slap, smack, and beat up whoever. He also threatened to sue AD, supposedly, for saying Mm -hmm. um, that security is not exempt, that your security can get it, too. So... Uh, yeah, okay. so there's been a lot of shit going on, and now right. Aiden Ross is tapping the when I come back outside. <laughs> exactly. Now, there was a new piece that got added, which I thought was kind of cool. Well, not cool, but I thought it was funny. Okay. Um, there was another part where Aiden was responding again. I think they were sitting down at a restaurant, and mm-hmm. he was telling his homies what happened. And apparently, one of his, I don't know if this is his manager, it's his manager, uh, he was explaining the story to his manager and his manager was like, chill out. Yeah. Be cool. That's that's my homies. Like, let's talk about this offline. Like, that's the homie. Mm, I didn't yeah. see that video. And he was like, oh, so you know this guy? He was like, and I'm telling you, talk, chill don't out. talk about this online. Let's talk about it later. Like, on some like... You better chill. You, 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 a lot you of got affiliates. a little bit too much dip on your chip now. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let's talk offline. And he just kept pressing it like, oh, so you know this guy. You know the fat guy? You know this guy? Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, that's the homie. Stop what you're doing. Let's talk offline. And this was all on air. This was all Mm. on a live. This was on Aiden's live, I believe. Well, I hope Mm. he caught the seriousness in his voice. Question, do do we think anything will actually happen to Aiden Ross if he comes to L.A.? I just think uh, it's it's better. <laughs> I think it, you know what? It is very it's, sunny outside. It is it's very so sunny. sunny. So the weather's very nice. Outside. The, the weather is amazing, amazing bro. The streets nice are gonna be busy. Sunny. Man, 
Oh, so much. Man. <laughs> Should I hold my tongue right now? He said back to Dwight Howard. No, I don't think Georgia tongue. Hold the wingspan again? I, <laughs> <laughs> that's hold the wingspan. That's crazy. I don't think you're going to hold your tongue for nothing to insinuate, but Los Angeles is a different city. And I'm not from here. I understand there's certain things. There's certain yeah, things you have to respect. From here. There's certain things you got to respect about the I'm city. There's certain sections and people you have to respect. And you can't disrespect and expect to just be able to move as freely as you want. Security is great. It's yeah. awesome to have security. Salute to you, but one man don't stop an army. So don't it's just one of those things is where <laughs> you still got to be safe. You still got to be careful and, you know, watch what you I do. I just think that he's playing by different rules. Like, it's two, to me, and I was talking about this on stream this morning. For I sure. think it's like, it's two different worlds. There's two LAs. And at some point that, well, it's like, where does this meet in the middle? And I, I think it's leaning more on Aiden Ross's side. Like, if he came here, I don't think no, anything would happen to him. Not like when he landed at the airport I said he going to die and get beat up. Well, it's just, I, I mean, that's low-key what we've been saying. I think it's an right? no, no, no. warning, like, yo, you you, you, you can just be confronted with by you, anybody. You don't have to be beat up. I think, too, you have to, like, to, to your point, there are two different worlds. And in Aiden's world... Those are very much like the shock jock streamers that are going to push the line. They're going to push the limit. They're going to see what they can do. So that's when you get like the, uh, who was that? Danny Mullen yeah. that went to Compton and shit on the Martin Luther, like literally physically sat down, squatted and took a shit on the Martin Luther King. Are you serious? Statue. Yes. What the those are, fuck? Those are the type of people that are working in that world. So with that said, same energy. When he did that, <sighs> Compton niggas was right there to speak on it, speak to him about it and get at him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that, yes, I think that if Aiden Ross just came down peacefully, was just in L.A., you know, doing the normal shit, talking shit. Oh, hey, I'm in L.A. No one's touching me. I'm on Fairfax. Yeah, cool. But if you come out here and you do some wild shit like, oh, I'm going to go to. Compton. No, he I heard, I heard yeah, that's yeah, where he this guy is from. Take it. He's gonna, but they do though, and that's what yeah. I'm saying. That's why I'm like, you kind of can't say that because there yeah. are a lot of streamers that do do those Shock big. Value. They thrive yeah, off. Yeah, of they shit. do these big things, and then wonder why something went left. Yeah, and so you kind of can't call it. That actually I, happened in my city. I believe it. Like with with Dolph, there was a, a comedian. Uh, I forgot his name, but he went online and. Was like laughing about it, made a joke about it, and like within the next week, they killed him. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if if it would be different, if of course mm. words are words. Aiden can say whatever he want to say from wherever he's at, and <clears throat> technically nobody can actually get to him. Right. But if he was to come out here and then put tens on it, then yeah, I would be a little bit worried. But that's anybody. That's anybody who's putting tens on anything and coming out here. When you say tens, you mean like actually going like to like doubling down and doing yeah. some crazy shit. Yeah, I think he's, oh, I'm gonna go. Extra. Like, I wanna be oh, <laughs> since everybody is oh, since everybody thinks Kendrick's gonna touch me, I'm gonna go to the Tams he shot the video at. I wanna be very clear. Why would you right. do that? I would I could see him doing going to Tams. So can I. Maybe and that's not. what I'm saying. But if you do that, he be prepared a type of for what's gonna happen. Do a pre like I don't even want to give the nigga advice for real because do a six nine, with her. but uh, no, on God, like, if you're live streaming anywhere in LA, anybody that's from here could put two and two together and figure out where you at, and they could maybe get there. That's the whole thing about stream sniping. People do yeah. that shit just to get on the show, but nobody talks about if somebody's trying to stream snipe to get at you. Mm. And I'm so if you gonna if you're gonna go <laughs> over there and say I'm gonna live stream right here for 30 minutes from this Tams, expecting that 30 minutes somebody might try to get over there, or if you go to the Compton courthouse because these are the things that you saw in this video, the, or I'm gonna go to these. I, this is where they had their Rolls Royce parked in these projects. I'm gonna go over there and walk through there myself and see. Yeah, that's <laughs> when you start tripping, and that's when you can't say nothing is gonna happen to me, security or not. It's 30,000 more niggas in them projects than security guards, and you don't know what's going to happen behind somebody that they love and respect. You can't call it. So I would say I, I don't want anything to happen yeah. to him, but you can't call what he's going to do to come out when he comes out here to provoke it. I don't think... To, even back to the beginning, I don't think he even needed to get to that point. At specifically all. with Smack to Aiden. Obviously, we know Smack's a high head, so you know he going to say what he going to say. I don't think it was even really necessarily warranted, but... When it's the home team, it is what it is. But you know Smack was talking to Top 5. He wasn't talking to Aiden. He was talking about Top 5 saying, we're going to go through every single person that was yeah, on that stage, and we're going to get at you. It got to Aiden 
or through community. Right. And, and that's so, where it's just like, mm, smack, I don't think it was really, you know, a, a good position to play, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, but you can't, again, it's like, is it content or is it real life? Like, I mean, it helps right now for content, for sure. I think it's all the way. I, I truly think if he come out here, nothing's going to happen to him. I agree. If he, cho- if he chooses yeah, like, to play, I think, how he plays I think even if he goes, just come out I think we all agree that. Business, no matter who. Cool. I think I we all agree come that. out here to push the yeah. line, then then you kind of but that's poking where, the bear but that doesn't that mean point. anything but can't that's, happen because there's people that are watching from the sidelines that may be affiliates of something 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 and see him somewhere and do something and it may not yeah, have been a call from nobody but that's why I'm just saying niggas. there's random people that are still liable to Think pick it, a side and fuck with him <laughs> but I'm saying my gangster ass tech niggas my take, my take is nobody's gonna touch we'll him find his ass. so at the end of the day when he comes here and he does what he does from the internet perspective it's gonna look like yo I went to LA and nothing happened. LA's a big city, bro. So that's, I mean, but yeah, from the outside, look, nobody who you know that, right? I Niggas mean, who on the ground do. know that too. I don't have that's to not be, how they're gonna take I don't it. have to be from New York for me to know that if you went, to, if you're beefing with a Harlem nigga, but you took a picture in Times Square saying, oh, I'm out here, where are y'all at? <laughs> that you didn't really go to the hood, right? So if you're I'm out here in New York, I'm not doing from my New York, thing. right? Like, where are y'all at? I'm in your city, like, I'm all in your city, like, nigga, you're on the Brooklyn Bridge, bro. You're not real. Us real people are gonna say that. But majority of the people watching are gonna be like, yeah, nigga, they said he can't LA. go. He, he went and he killed Yeah, I guess, like, the, I guess the no fly zone was very excessive. You can have That's what issues. I'm saying. It's gonna, I'm he's but gonna look like the winner. Me, but to say you the can't. Statue but for, but fuck, to be, nigga, come give me. But to be honest, how, how realistic is it for any one person to say you can't come to a city? I mean, it's very hard uh, for uh, one no, person to specifically just say that. That's my point. You shouldn't paint that picture. Some people have the ability to be like. It depends on who the person is. And what is and enjoy yeah. yourself is going to be a lot more difficult Six if you make me mad. And yeah, and that yeah. whole no fly zone shit is that's Detroit. Trick, trick. That's trick trick. That's trick trick. That was a that that whole thing that was is a, a real thing, thing because you literally could not. Oh, you had to tap in with trick for sure. So it is a possibility, mm-hmm. and it's just it's who the person is. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Know like, who you fucking with? Yeah. So it's fair to say that Smack can't can't put that call in. No, I'm saying. not saying I'm not I'm not even going that far. I, 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 I asked her, no, no, of course you're not. I don't six. agree with that. I asked that on my stream. Does, of course you're not. Does Smack six. have that much power? I don't, I don't know. Genuinely, you ain't finna go against the grain I don't anyway. Street politics at all. Because you have to think about the the. Okay, Me so techni- <laughs> technically speaking, Smack is just the person who said something that's gone the farthest so far. Yeah. Right. But if somebody gets online and issues out a PSA to every single human being that touched the stage at the pop up, every single person on the stage could make that call. And each of them has a reach if it gets to that point. But it's not at that point. So I don't want to even say that. I'm just saying you don't know whose desk has come across yet to even know that. So I don't know. Did anything, did the Adams say anything specifically to say uh, fuck? Kendrick or um, LA specifically? Right now? I don't know. <laughs> we well, talking about AD and uh, um, yeah. Smack. No, I know, but I'm saying initially for for it to get to had got During to During like the beef and like, shit. During the beef, it was all crazy shit. Oh, okay. About Kendrick, like he was fucking Kendrick. He was all team Drake. But even when he's in the club, not like us was playing. Oh, yeah, he's I like, remember. Turn this trash shit off. Oh, no one wants to fucking hear this shit, but his homie was right next to him, like, enjoying it. Mm. But I mean, I heard he's about not it. Normal for that yeah, though, bro. That's, that's, he that's, chose us. I think it's fine that he chose a side. That's normal. I don't, think, I don't think the problem is that he chose a side. I think it's the so, extra shit. It's the extra shit. Yeah. You put on it. You put, chose a side. But we do. Like, we, we put extra shit for Team Kendrick though. So I think yeah. it's like all is fair on I that think end. Not going, we're slap the fuck out of Toronto niggas. Oh no, it's right. all, we you crazy, bro. bro. The Ooh, Kendrick fans are never like Kendrick, Kendrick fans are never like Beyonce fans, bro. Kendrick but fans so are, are Drake fans. Diehard fans are like so low are key Drake delusional. Fans. These are two big, huge fan bases going head up against each other. Yeah. In some instances, Somebody's that overlap. They overlap. So some people had to really choose a side. I think, unfortunately, Aiden kind of got ca- caught in the middle of the top five part of it because really, I think that message should have been sent to top five, not to Aiden. If if you gonna talk like that, talk at the <clears throat> nigga that's actually talking like that too. Like Aiden is just Sorry. popping it, whatever. But the top five nigga yeah, is supposedly that's the a good shooter. Point. He's mm-hmm. supposedly the nigga. Oh, we got him out. We did this X Y Z blah 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 allegedly. But 
It's like, if that's the nigga that's doing all that, then say that to him. He should be the nigga that can't touch down in L.A. Because as soon as he gets but here, that, we know that's, he on bullshit. That's my whole thing. Aiden is Aiden. But, well, not, I mean, in the in the thing, Smack was like, wait, Aiden was on the thing too? Fuck him too. And I think that was content. And then obviously yeah. Aiden jumped the gun and put himself in it. But that's why I'm just like, bro, that check-in shit or you can't come here. I thought that was reserved for like street niggas. Right now it's content. Shit. And that's why I said I think yeah. Aiden kind of got caught in the middle of it. Right. Because... Smack was responding to the top five thing from uh-huh. what I saw. They were saying he's the one that said he's going to get on stream. They're going to go through all the lists. They're going to say whatever. And we're going to figure all of y'all out one by one. That's some equalizer shit. Like, we trying to figure out each one of y'all niggas, where y'all be at, blah, 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 blah. So Smack was like, oh, nigga, it's bad for you. You know what? You can't pull up. It is fair to say, fuck Aiden Ross, nigga. Yeah. What the fuck these <laughs> niggas talking about, nigga? <laughs> yeah. That's our sentiment. Fuck all that. So regardless, if that's how he feels and how crazy he's talking to the homies, it's, you gotta ride. That's home team. Aiden Ross. So it's fuck Aiden Ross. But come to the show, though. But fuck Aiden Ross. <laughs> it's home team shit. That's how we rock. This is why it goes. All right, Six, thank you for putting it up there. Oh, Give us some context. Man. It's going to be a little bit late by the time y'all hear this. It's going to be covered a lot, but I feel like this is the fair to say. I feel like there's going to be a lot more it shit It might be that more, yeah. Oh, we finna- oh, yes. So by the time they see this. So, yeah, it's a fair to say table take. All right, cool. Yeah. Shit, let's jump into an, uh, a next one. A little bit more uh, conversation worthy as far as uh, real life relatability. <laughs> this goes from Don yeah, to like Diva. <laughs> is it fair to say it's easier for a male to be ugly and get bitches than it is for a woman to be ugly and get niggas? Money and body parts don't count. It's about the face card only. What the fuck? I feel like we had something that, similar to this before. Put that in parentheses. Uh, you can make that ass clap and jiggle. Okay. I think it fair is to fair say. to say. Because <laughs> the current, I think at the end of the day, the, <laughs> how the majority of the world sees it and accepts it. That was terrible. A man's currency is money and a woman's currency is her beauty. It says without <clears throat> money and body parts. Face card. That only. made this very difficult. I mean, no, I it think didn't. <laughs> A they don't have money and they don't have body parts. They just floating heads. <laughs> yeah, because to be an ugly Face man, card like, only. You you ugly have... niggas and floating ugly bitches. Who is it difficult for? It be, it's funny though, because I will say I I definitely agree with this. I definitely agree with this. It's ugly. Easier for a man. Ugly yeah. niggas is getting niggas tied with money. down. But, but I mean, that's no if they money. have money. That's what no, I'm trying no, to no. say. I'm saying. Uh, it's it's just ugly. Ugly. I'm just thinking about growing up. So think about from I because. The, to answer this, I had to kind of put myself back in like high school, right? Cause that's when we didn't have money and that's when nobody had yeah, body. like body parts or nothing like that. Yeah, we nobody was, had body parts. <laughs> we wasn't, we wasn't, school. niggas we wasn't, and right. <laughs> bitches didn't have BBLs and yeah, shit in just, high school. They didn't have boob jobs. Oh, they didn't nah, have fillers like, and lips and nose jobs. You probably, that's cause you was in. Oh, they was so, so the, what I do? I <laughs> I was in the hood. Nobody had bread for that. Bitches was busted. Niggas was ugly. Everybody was ugly. Okay. So with that being said, it was hard. Bitch, I went to school with you. You were ugly. This is why I think it's different though, because even you take money and everything out, right? It, I think it's way harder to be an ugly guy and get a get bitches than it would be for be the ugly woman because a lot of times men think solely a lot about sex and ass and pussy and pussy ain't got no face and everything look the same with the lights off yeah. and all this so like you could be ugly and a man could be like fuck it I'm in a drought for three days shoot it but if a girl is going to be more selective and if she's attractive herself her chances of accepting an ugly nigga with no other benefit to actually get inside her is probably going to be slim to none. That's but, the way I would look at but it. Like, think about they how don't care times. about getting dick from an ugly nigga. Think about how many times. Yeah, they, that's not something they they be like. Oh, I just had to hit one of my ugly just, niggas. Just, up. I just had to get my nut off, so <laughs> I'm gonna fuck the ugly nigga in school. Like no. I don't think no. Yeah, don't think Whereas a nigga would be like, You're right. that ugly bitch, shoot yeah. it. <laughs> she right. wild as a motherfucker. The party she drunk, shoot it. Fuck it. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think men have less standards when it comes to getting that yeah. <laughs> getting yeah. their shit. Taking Definitely. the money part is hard. It's because hard. Now I'm thinking about the my next point was gonna be you might be right too because like a lot of times you'll see like a, a nigga that's driving her car, moving mm-hmm. in with her, staying mm-hmm. at home while she go to work all day. But mm-hmm. technically that's still money. So But most of the niggas that do that, you think they ugly niggas that can do that? No, I was agreeing with oh, you that yeah. it's the women. It's the ugly it's women. It's not to be sometimes. a fly nigga yeah. that can do that. That take your car and Nah, it could be it could still be kind <laughs> a of a busted head broke nigga. It could it could still kinda of be a busted nigga, but it's definitely gonna be a busted bitch. Mm. That's like that's yeah, letting girl, you happen. He took the car. He's that's like, let, I'm going to work. letting you have the car. No, she a down ass. It be some not all the time. I'm about to say it be some no, bad. No, I'm saying not all the time. But I'm saying sometimes. That's why I'm like, I can't call it. And that Nissan Altima. 
Man, That's definitely an Altima. I'd have seen <laughs> Big Baby Mama with. I used to I drive know. my ex Altima all the time. That's oh, funny. You was the ugly nigga? Driving the fuck out of that. <laughs> you no. Know. I was the fly nigga I was just telling you about. Right. That yeah. was able we to take her car. Nigga know. driving her car. Fresh ass broke nigga King trying to be a rapper. <laughs> driving her car. Yep. Driving the shit out of her car. This was before that. Put I had no motion. That shit is Dropping funny. her off at work. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good one, though. Because you're when running you take my errands after. When you take all that out of it, it's a really hard one. I think yeah, it's Yeah, and think body it's not being in it is, is crazy because I guess it goes back to the, like, what he was saying about the whole, like, sexual thing mm-hmm. to where if she got a banging ass body but an ugly face, you're going to shoot it. Around. Easy. Cut the light off. But then you can't say that. It's just all face cards. Yeah, That's why I'm like, this face, is hard. Nah, niggas, niggas will go for the all face. We'll be all in her you face. You think so? <laughs> That's crazy. I don't Hell want no yeah. ugly girl in the face. If it's but just face. Saying, which, no, I agree. Saying, but I'm saying it's more a, likely. More men are going to take an ugly girl just for the evening. Yeah, for the more men are going to take an ugly girl. So imagine if it's like more women to take an ugly five nigga? guys lined up, five girls lined up. It's just <laughs> head. It's just the face. And she got to go through a pick. You ain't watched that Pop the Balloon show? I nigga coming there body and one. Up. Just the face. Nigga coming there and one dread be out of place. And they pop, 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 pop. Uh-uh, I don't like, they don't like your shirt. They don't like the way your eyebrows are. That's what I'm saying. Like, just your face. Men are more willing to give a woman a chance <laughs> beyond her face, I think, than women are. Yeah. If you have nothing else to offer, if the man has nothing else to offer, she's just gonna yeah. choose the face. I'm trying to hear it. Say it again. If the man has nothing else to offer, mm-hmm. a woman is more inclined. Wait, I forgot what I was about to say now. But she's I, she's more likely to judge based off of the face. I've heard if he has nothing else. I've right. heard girls like, say they like their man ugly. You can't and be ugly. Yeah, it's one or the other. Girls don't like pretty boys. They like medium ugly niggas. This I was is what success- I, heard. I was I was successful <laughs> my whole life. Medium That's ugly. What I heard. That's what I be hearing. I heard girls like medium ugly niggas. I was yeah, successful I my that. whole life. I can't I speak like on that. I ain't never heard a nigga but I like my girl type medium ugly. Like that's over with. No. Nah, nah, niggas don't say that. We definitely say that. I've definitely said that. Cuz women don't want other women pretty. looking at their man. Think he was no, better than me. Right. No, so pretty. That. He might be gay. This it's nigga, not he takes too much care of himself. He likes sunny days like that. He likes sunny outside. So he blur his shoulders out. He be basking in the sun and shit. <laughs> now sometimes it's, But this is when Now you gotta put Everything back in Now everything yeah. You gotta put back Into play Sometimes you might Get a nigga That's just dumb Like swaggy He's mm. tight He's this and that And it's like Damn That makes him Look better Because he got You know He just got yeah. a wit About him Or how he carries himself Like mm. certain things Like that And it makes you Be like Ah uh, he kinda Like Cause there's a difference Between being like Cute and being sexy Like mm. being a tra- Like there's two Different things to me damn. Sometimes you could look at a person in there aesthetically mm-hmm. not the best but mm-hmm. the way that they carry themselves it's like damn that's Sex a turn appeal, on yeah. yeah and so that's when you get into that whole oh I like medium ugly niggas because a lot of times those are the niggas <laughs> right. that work more on their personality right, yeah. right. and have to carry themselves right. a little differently so you really get in that bag mm. this motherfucker speeding right here <laughs> no, that's but true. nah it's real Pretty. like Pretty. I've always yeah. said that <laughs> I've always said that, but nah. yeah, but every niggas once ain't got to work as hard on their personality yeah. because they just give what the fuck they want. Yeah, every yeah. once in a while though, you will look up on a unicorn where it's like that nigga is fine as hell. He carries himself like he's that nigga, like, and it's like, oh my god, and he's down to earth and he's cool. Because a lot of times you'll meet that nigga that's all that, but he's not down to earth. He's hella like just mean and weird and all that shit. And it's like, ah, I don't even want to deal with that. But every once in a while. Every once in a while, there's a unicorn, and you're like, oh, my God, this nigga is so fine, and he's so this, and I know, I know, I just know. <laughs> Soon as I, mm, 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 it's to be But then you here. accept more if you she feel like that. In. You, you, I did. <laughs> I did. You did. In it. Ooh, that nigga I met last week at the club hit me Men up. have to, men have mm. to put on more <laughs> yes, Lord. than women do, I think, too. I think a man is more inclined. He would take a girl if she's not dressed to the nines or hair's not to the nines, but a woman going to look like, oh, that haircut busted, or your shoes busted, or... You just don't carry yourself properly. Men, I think, are willing to accept more I think they to be used satisfied. To. I don't know, man. I think they. I'm not speaking on me. I think, think I feel like that's the most because the there's <laughs> ugly women. I, know. I judge you, so I'm like, bro. The ugliest <laughs> woman can get dick every night, bro. Somewhere. But do you respect? Yeah, we are. The ugliest ass nigga can't get pussy every night. But by what token? At what expense? How is she doing? Okay, not prostitute, not homeless, crackhead, like a regular girl. She can go get pussy. From any man, any night, anywhere. But she, she has get to do something. <laughs> Whoa, what? Hey, yeah. she, can go, she can go get pussy from any man. <laughs> said the wrong thing. You said the wrong thing, confident as fuck. I'm <laughs> so I telling you, she can go get pussy from any man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I'm glad I you caught that. 
I didn't realize that like, hey, shit either. Got options. <laughs> But I'm in it with you. I'm literally in it with you. But like, no, I'm saying like a girl, just a, a girl who's she ain't she ain't gotta have nothing. She could be broke. She can, she can go find some dick. There's she can go, always a somebody gonna fuck her. There's she always a stipulation. She, she either gotta, gotta, gotta get body. or nice she's coming body. with something. So she might be the 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 weed bitch. No, she don't got nothing. She, she just gonna get fucked. She get what? That's the only thing. There's an old white man in the Seven Eleven that's gonna hit her. She's extremely talented. Because you, I knew that growing up in the hood, hey, hold on. it was always Dude, one. Hey. It was always hey, one no. busted ass. It was. I ain't even gonna hold you. I hate to say it that way, but it was one busted ass bitch that every single nigga was like shamed, shamed. But she had the neck. Everybody mm-hmm. was like, you got to get the neck. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to do it, bro. And everybody was telling to. everybody. Oh, everybody like, said that shit was like, so her, her throat a landmark. And like, niggas you gotta was just tap like, in with nigga. that neck when oh, you touch God. the <laughs> So it could be something like that, too. And it's I think, like, word make sure you try to word of mouth, potatoes. literally. Advertisement. <laughs> to Steph's point, I think you're right, because it's like, niggas going to take what they can get down there. I don't care if you're going to tell everybody. Okay. What the man is going to shoot it. Niggas going to smack a bit. They don't care. It's a rock with a pussy. Nigga, take it. <laughs> they know they will get shot. <laughs> no, nah. nah, nigga, lock in. Oh nigga, protect God. that with his whole life. Nice. Nigga. Let me get the rock, nigga. <laughs> what you got left? Oh, yeah, bro, oh, you got the rock left? Bro, bro give me the rock, bro. You been here two bro. weeks now, nigga. Niggas be fucking blow up, <laughs> dogs, bro. That's what I'm hey, saying, okay, bro. so that, that brings up a good point. Would y'all play with? Would y'all have a sex doll? Fuck no, no. When they come out with, when need, they come out with I the AI, need no more. The AI robots, you ain't gonna get one. No, she don't complain. It's just, man, you That's crazy. unhealthy because I wouldn't need any actual interaction. And interacting with an actual girl would probably feel weird as fuck to me. That's what's going on well, now. That's why, that's why men and like, women can't the, interact <laughs> normal now because everything's through a computer. Throw a nigga, nah, not for me. It's not for me. I'll take the robot. Time. Not the dog, though. The dogs, is, that's weird. Well, they I want man one of them because I lock in with that motherfucker. We <laughs> talked about this on. Uh, Shut up, bitch. Stop talking. Talk about this on Ace Boys. They had. Um, there are. What, Whoa, that was wild. Can I get a black? Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I don't want that. I was like, scream. I don't want one. Can I get a black? Uh, <laughs> I'm done. Nigga, go through this search history. So, I'm what? Why? Why? What's in this search history? Dwight Howard, Wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> it was how, how much Dwight Howard? How much Dwight Howard? Like what do you mean you put sex dolls? <laughs> <laughs> so they had two. They, had, they have now the sex dolls that are like modeled after people. Like a so Kim Kardashian can, yeah. one? So you can order that. And That's then they insane. have the um then they have the 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 pocket pussies uh-huh. that the the sex workers are going and making and molds. molds of their own and they're selling those. Yep. So you can order, you know what I'm saying? Like I think Violet Myers, like which is like a a, a corn star. I don't know what you call it. How much is that? <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah, they got pocket. They molded after you. There's they molded after the girl. So it feel like you actually fucking that porn star. Yes. Yeah. Well, she. T- know, really. You don't. They take pictures of it, so match it side by side <laughs> with the real pussy. Insurance. But you know, y'all could do that too. They have the a, dick mold. Um, yep. yep. They have a dick mold, so you can make one. Do they have, have people that woman. create like replica pussies? That's what That's I was just what talking about. No, I'm saying like they don't have the permission from the person oh. that owns the pussy. They just make their own. How can like, you know what it is? Like, 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 I don't know. Like Porn videos, just, maybe they gather Digitally research. enhanced. Right. Okay, um, so this one video, she opened that motherfucker all the way up. So I know <laughs> that it's about six inches this way. <laughs> Or nah. they just make any other pussy and just Man, call it. Niggas better not fall for this shit. It's the same a, Aretha Franklin Seventeen hundred dollars for a big silicone bitch. Aretha Franklin is crazy. Niggas, it feels just like Aretha Franklin. <laughs> That's some lonely I don't get no bitches ass but these shit. Aren't, these, correct these oh are not the God. ones. These are not the AI ones. These are just nah, realistic I mean, dolls. Gladys, She's five, four. <laughs> Gladys Knight pussy replica. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, <laughs> that nigga trying to get on the midnight train to Georgia. That's disgusting. Hey, after you have something, you be so disgusted with yourself after you that. Said, you would. That post nut clear, you be like, this is. Oh, oh yeah. Damn, we're gonna fuck a dog. I? God damn. Why? But I that's mean, like, have you seen the. Why um, am I? What is Why that, is that weird though? What is that show? My my weird obsession, my, my crazy, strange my strange addiction. Yeah. There's the like the men that. There's one guy that's like in a relationship with his car. Oh I've yeah, seen yeah, that. making out that. with the bumper and shit. And then yep. he he in a tailpipe. Yep. Yeah, but not in a tailpipe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they just go show you weird oh, obsessed. Shit. I, I think yeah. this is this is some lonely loner. 
I'm scared to talk to women. I need to feel like it's the closest thing to a woman. I'm tired of beating my meat. I'm tired of this. That's some thirsty if, shit. If I'm really, never buying why a will, body. Why do we have to say it's not really thirsty? Thirsty. It's maybe, thirsty. They don't, maybe they don't do well. Maybe they've tried with women and they don't okay, have good success. Okay, to get success. it to practice? Okay, maybe. But like if that's not your not practice, not. but to actually... <laughs> no, why some you, people <laughs> have to have... I'm trying to justify <laughs> somehow. Maybe you can fuck your car That's That's speaking from a place of privilege you don't have that problem nobody's ever you turned you down so you've never had that problem you feel me there are some men that go to bars they shoot they shot and bitches don't be fucking no, with you're them right, you're right. Yeah, so they're sad and they go home and they want companionship that's why I can't do it just gives me thirsty yeah. I don't get it's not, by it but, but you listen. can't say thirsty because there are some people who try okay, you're and right, you're right. Okay, correction. let's Thank not you, Ella. judge them thank you Ellie you're correct oh, let, wow. me, let, me, let me rephrase that there's something for everybody and if that's the best way for you to pleasure yourself and it's the most easiest, accessible way, then indulge by all means. We got There's it. Nothing wrong. There's now, nothing if you wrong with get it. bitches and go get one of them, <laughs> now nah, you out of pocket. Okay. <laughs> what kind of sex bitch? No. <laughs> we gotta be honest. There's so many women to smash, bro. Why do you need to resort what to that? If, let's, let's, what let's, if you don't want? You know, boys like, who live on farms, and it's gonna get crazy, but like, whoa. they who live on farms. Let's stop there. The White Howard, where are you going <laughs> with this? There's this, I don't know what the statistic is, but it's. Boys, <laughs> you're, 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 you're the guy. Let's hear him out. Boys on the farm. No, boys who live on farms. This is the farms. next one on the There's track like There's like some history. statistic where the, like those boys are they have sex with goats and shit. So six, uh, we gotta clear. You have to figure out insane. some type of way. Like, yeah, so but from that mindset, the like, FBI is gonna come wild. get us after this episode for these search bars. Boy, oh god. Now we have yeah, boys on farms. Fucking pigs. Oh, but wow. you're not wrong. From a statistical standpoint, if they're it's doing that, right. what's really wrong with this? Is my is my or if you? I mean, that's a great substitute. Yes. As like a, a man, you masturbate, correct? And you what use your hand. What's the difference? A pig in a hand. A pig in a hand. A pig in a hand. You about no. the dog? Sick the dog ass. in the hand. So some people use women. Some people use animals. Some people oh use their hand. God. What's the difference? Because they get their nut There's off that way. There's four billion people in the There's world. I just feel like difference. women in the world. Why not? I also feel like I, in light of all of easy. the news that's been going on this week too, this last few weeks, I don't have to say y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. I feel like shit like this prevents shit like that too. Cause he's correct. What if somebody has a sex addiction? What if somebody is insatiable? What if there's hella different shit that somebody wants to do with a human that they cannot do to that human because it's not acceptable. How much can a dog really do? That, you got to flip it and turn it the whole time. I think, Fuck I it, let's order one. Lay her here and let's examine his brush. Let's do one for research purposes. <laughs> not, right. A doll is not gonna tell you I don't want to do that. Yeah, a doll's not gonna say I. You I my ass. A doll gonna say, a doll's gonna <laughs> say yeah, I don't want to be shit on, but it's not gonna react when you shit on. I don't think it's, it's about true, the reaction, bro. But you can bro. get that off. It's delusional. Oh, I guess it's just the. So we are talking about fantasy. mentally unstable people. I think this is no. these are all Another different thing. versions of, of orderers. <laughs> Another thing these are all is different, like, different consumers. Types. Consumers. <laughs> right. Another <laughs> thing is like sex is like a drug, and the more you have of it, the more you're. Like, mm-hmm. like I was saying earlier with watching porn, you start off just watching, hey, a girl having sex with guy. Yeah, it gets and worse and worse. And that's good enough for you. And now you, you figure out more. Three bitches, one nigga on a bus, and the driver <laughs> drunk. <laughs> yeah. Right, and the driver, like, you watch him, you're like, he ain't drunk, that don't count. Like, he gotta, he gotta be specific. Wait, 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 wait. Now you got page 74. I put my dick away. Too fake. No, they, 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 they acting. Nah, they acting. <laughs> And then they suggest little shit Like I see how people like Can get influenced Extra easily To go yeah. to that shit Cause the more you watch that shit It the, is one of the most detrimental the things To the have. human like, brain Porn, porn is one of the most detrimental things To the human brain And it's you learn, best, you, best learn more. More. you can narrow in more The more you watch The more you figure out what you like Yep. So it's like, like you said, the first one might be regular. Then you might see one little thing that happens in there. And you like, I like that. that. So now I'm gonna search up. that. Right. Now you like, oh, I like this too. Now I'm gonna search you that. You see some shit a bunch of times. Then you like, I'm gonna go check that out. And see yeah. what's yeah. going on. And, and then it, you get to the point where you want to try it. And then yeah. is that how the do Simpsons you go funny? Like, Bro, do you let me, know? Let me check it out. Nigga dragging up the Bart Simpson. That's crazy. That was one of the first things I remember. The Simpsons. Trouble in my house. My brother had Naruto. downloaded some shit like that. And it was like cartoon <laughs> porn? Yes, and put a virus on the damn computer. Oh my my God. dad found yeah, it, and done. he was tripping like, what the fuck, world? What the fuck are you looking at this shit? <laughs> 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 my dad came mad and 
can't say you Nigga, look at what you look at me like this. Man, man. Man. Man, man. Man, man. Man, man. What the hell? <laughs> That shit, is, that shit is big business, boy. That, shit's, that shit was so funny. I think it was like uh, I forget what That's cartoon crazy. it was. Spoke it was I think no, I think it was it. no, I think it was Bugs Bunny. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was like oh, Space yeah. Jam, off shit like that. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like Space Jam or something. It was like Space Jam, I. Mini, I mini, like, mini <laughs> Chino, Mickey with Goofy and shit. <laughs> Somebody space getting jammed. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my show. god, that was back in the day. That's hella funny. Yeah, porn is. I didn't extreme, even know man. people had a thing for that. Be type careful of with yeah. your consumption, man, because a lot of times too, it's gonna. Did you try hey, bro? You're a young <laughs> buck, bro. I'm gonna go use I thought you looked up. I thought you looked up pig porn, nigga. I, I thought was it was some say, pig bestiality bro. going, bro. Oh this my god! You don't understand how hard, my heart just stopped. I was like, nigga, bro, I know. What are you way. looking at, bro? That's gotta be a crazy still frame when this comes on. Somebody screenshot our faces when we first hear that. <laughs> Please. Get him off the screen, Six. <laughs> Get this damn pig off the screen, Why man. Why would you do that? He got acne. I was like, these niggas finna steal. Oh, oh my that God. I didn't want to tell you, but I thought it was. I think pig knows it. I said, what the? What is that? Hey, you know oh, what you That's a pig. What's happening to remember, that pig? Do you remember when H Boys first started and Pun would leave out the room? He would go say, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. And then he would t hack the Bluetooth while they were trying to play find him. And play, <laughs> play, play porn in there. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and they would be so confused. Like, how do I turn this off? <laughs> Who phone is coming from? Unplug it. Yeah. Yeah. This was priceless. Fuck. Oh my god. I just god. was like, no. That shit just terrified me. Because as soon as I heard it, I'm trying to decipher what it was. And then when I realized, I I'm like, oh no, he didn't. I immediately knew it was some out of pocket shit, but I didn't know what version. Yeah. This nigga six is cold. I was like, worried. Who, I was who's very noises worried. are we listening to? And then I realized it was a pig. It was piglet. Yep. You're so You're cold blooded. You're a sick. Think about that when you eat your bacon. Think about that when you eat your bacon later. Oh, and that moves us into the you stupid segment. This moves us into the you stupid segment because definitely that was a very stupid action six. Oh, could have wow. got us all canceled. Uh, we might still. I know, right? Uh, aspiring Arkansas rapper sentenced to one year probation for putting in threatening, lyri threatening lyrics in his music. What's up with this? This seems to be the norm now. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Wait, I'm not. Trying to laugh, but aspiring I know Arkansas was sick. rapper sentenced. Okay, so the threats included statements about <laughs> killing kids, raping children, bringing his gun to school, and killing people of specific ethnic group, killing the president, and more. So pretty much, he just Damn put threats on wax. One even, year probation. That didn't even be locked up. <laughs> he needs to be under. Those are very specific. Those are threats on wax. That's not. That's not music. That's, that's specific. That's, yeah. That's he was insane. a black kid. I mean, my fault. Make sure your kids don't grow is also a threat on wax. I mean, but if we're talking yeah, about niggas wasn't shooting up kids in '96 either. Yeah, I want to hear the song no, though. How specific? I don't want to hear the song. <laughs> I also feel like too. Once you put the the president in there, yeah, yeah that's where he fucked up. They should have yeah. took him away on GP. What is he? Yeah. Two, two. I put three fingers up. Two assassination attempts in already yeah, this you, year. Y'all gotta lock him. Down. I get it. The niggas fired too. I'll be mad too. I get it. This nigga's that's short five as fuck. Five. That's five five. Oh, okay. But I mean, <laughs> it's actually five five five. Five five. <laughs> I think oh, it, I, But think about it, though. He might have got more of a pass if he was more of like, uh, he looked more like a rapper. He looks like a school shooter. Yeah. So like, you putting out that song, we he know you're like not trying to mean that we shit. We know you're not trying so, to be a rapper. This is how you feel, that you just decided to put it in music. How many other songs do we have out? Is, is, that's my point. What if it's just one? What if it was just what his debut single? That's first song. <laughs> debut single got you put in jail. Single, he got a soundtrack a when he, person. That's what it's called. He got a soundtrack when he go out. That's he insane. Reese Sullivan. What's his rapper? Click the thing. It probably got a link in there. Plea deal in case involving you lyrics. You gotta relax. Oh, that damn near is him. It is him, ain't it? Not as a song. What? Does he make other music? He just turned this into a rap song? That can't be the same That's reseller, man. It's not him. <clears throat> Go back. Oh, That's some other nigga. You've gone we too far. We finna implicate the wrong nigga. He finna get He right. said he was gonna the kill the kids? Is that what he said? That's what them lyrics he said. The the kids. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, lock, lock him up. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. He was sentenced to 12 months of probation and a $500 fine. Uh, in court costs, he agreed to get semi-healthy valuation. 
public yeah, defender. He, he was arrested, blah, blah, blah. They found lyrics about killing the president, bombing the Senate, killing his grandmother. Shit. Racist lyrics about killing people, about bombing churches, killing and raping children, All shooting right. up a school, excuse me, uh, and bombing in specific public event, according to pro probable cause statement filed by a prosecutor. Can you scroll down some more? Is it's just against else? like freedom of speech. They didn't find any weapons or explosives. Yeah, but we're dealing with that with Young Thug right now. Yeah, He's a, a real rapper. This is somebody <laughs> who's putting threatening killing oh hold on it's a specific threat they yeah. attempted to find the recordings but court documents appear to have blacked out sullivan's rapper name in the name of the website where it was uploaded it was heavily redacted with multiple paragraphs entirely blocked out wait till we get to the next one um okay well yeah he looks like a school shooter anyway so they probably didn't take it <clears throat> any any jokes or any playing with shit like that because you don't even look like somebody who's trying to be a rapper it'd be different yeah. if it was like a Somebody who portrayed or who was actually already rapping, he might be able to I like mean, go by the wayside. I don't, I don't know. Me, mm. me personally, I don't. I mean, Eminem did it. It was a different time. What his time. career is, if he, yeah, Eminem is different. That's what I'm saying. Why Eminem different? Because he was a rapper and it was accepted, and that was part of like his. He's a rapper. He's not a rapper, bro. This is his. He rapped. Who are you to say he's not a rapper? He really? rapped. He rapped a song. He's not a rapper. That's but his only song. But we, we don't, don't know. We didn't find anything else. What if he got a couple songs and he's just he on his Eminem shit? That's what I said. I was like, it's giving Eminem. It, he it, fucked up when he said the be, president. That's why I think he it fucked could up. Could be that, but and also I think it's more extreme than Eminem. That that's not no. Like he was it's not my mom in this, and like do drugs. He didn't generation. say like I'm a I'm a R kid. I rapped the whole song Eminem where he took his daughter Haley and like pushed his baby mom over a killed her, shot her, pushed her over a bridge, and I was a little kid rapping. That's that domestic. Yep. That's not that a stranger, a and that's not a fear that he's gonna go do it to the world. It's not okay. This is a fear that he's gonna go do it to the world. Why though? What's the difference? was talking about his family thing and just talking about. The insane thoughts that go through in the mind of a kid watching your mom on drugs and et cetera. Like these are the things that went through his mind in a crazy way. But it's not he's not talking to society. Eminem wasn't going out saying I'm gonna R word your moms or I'm gonna go R word your kids or anything like or feed your kids volume and drugs and all this. He's just talking about what went on in his life. I mean, you also have to think about it was a different time. Right. It was a different time right. too. When That's Eminem a good point. was doing all of that, the only sign that we had of anything like this was Columbine. That was yeah, the was like biggest. The first that was the, shooting, the biggest, that? most publicized one ever. Now this shit is happening damn near every month. Yep. Like dead ass. That's not even an exaggeration. Like at the same time as this is happening, there's another little boy that just got arrested for writing a whole manifesto. Eleven years old wrote a whole manifesto about what he was gonna do, and they went to the crib and they found hella guns. Mm. They just happened to catch him before he did it. So it's like I think with this, <laughs> you're not wrong. It's all in the same pocket, but since Eminem, we've had so much evidence that these people will go out and do it that they try to get ahead of it if they catch it. Do we do? Do we start doing this to like black rappers they and do. stuff like that? Want to do? They're, They're reading doing thugs it. lyrics. They're doing court. it now, but again, this right. is not standard lyrics. But did you see what he pulled up? He and was BG, saying? BG, no, just, I did. I heard they said it. I didn't see the lyrics specifically. That's well, why I wish I could hear it. Well, what the yeah. quotables they said are not individual things he's affecting society and the world with these messages these are threatening messages to public figures <laughs> to groups of individuals schools kids you're not just talking about your present life and like Ella said time was so different where it's yeah. the shit he's saying can be executed just like that and it has been it has over been. and over again yeah. so I think they're trying to make sure it's like damn okay if this is what he on we're catching it it's just like for I don't instance, think you guys are wrong no at all after, uh, after 9-11 it was all types of shit you could do and say before 9-11. But then 9-11 happened and it's like, we got to we gotta mold the world now. Like, now we got to change Things it up changed. a little bit because we've seen something that we thought might have just been, you know, talking. Mm -hmm. They actually did this shit. Like, damn, okay, now we got to make sure anytime we hear something like that, we nipping it in the bud to yeah. make sure it doesn't happen again. And right. I think that's all it's really And he, he look, he fits you know, the physical <laughs> bill. Like, I think that's, For sure. we can't let, forget that this man he fits, fits the, the description. Uh, physical description of what we've seen people look like this to, to put those acts into play. Nah, he looked like a school shooter for sure. I'm not mad at that. It's about time uh, fit the description came from the other the side. The other side? Too. Yeah. You fit the description, so, white boy. Okay, hey. time out then. Because just to flip the script, <laughs> when it's a group of like white people looking at a rapper with tattoos on his face and he's going over lyrics, they have the same conversation. Like, yeah, that nigga looks like a thug. Send him to jail. They, we, and they do it. And we're okay with that. 
No, I'm, I'm not sure. saying we're okay with it, but you got it. Like, no, it's not like okay. You said, but this is not a dream, Time bro. Out. Why is this okay and it's not okay with the Checks and balances. Budget. We going back to innocent until proven guilty. If he come back and he passes a psychiatric exam and was like, he's I was just joking, y'all. I was tripping. I should have never said that. Oh, I was a kid. If in six years he's grown and is like, yeah, when I was a kid, I used to do some dumb shit. Then it's like, oh, okay, maybe. But okay. You can never be. It's better safe than sorry. Because this is a very attention seeking age that we're in. Yeah. People are, like you said earlier, going to the extremes just, just so they can get their following up. And he's just free. to get some attention. Just so they can get he's some free? attention. He's free. <clears throat> he's out on bond. So he might start promoting one of his other businesses now that he got all the way to the news and people are making articles about this shit. Why mm -hmm. has nobody heard this song? That's what I'm saying. Cause they nobody... said they couldn't. They said the reports that they couldn't find the actual audio or something was blocked. But yeah, who made the some, song? Something like that. They said on that on the police report. Yeah, what, like, what rapper raps about R-rated people? Eminem. 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 <laughs> Not people. No, Eminem. there's a lot. Not there were a people. lot. His there mom, were a lot. His mom and his and his. There's probably some lyrics where, he's, where he said something I'm, about random come people. Come on, bro. Because even back in the day, like not a like lot of people, a lot of y'all like, are not gonna know who Brother Lynch is. But Brother Lynch, that sounds, I know that's a white boy, ain't it? No. What about not, not at all? That's and that's song? the crazy part. That I, don't, like, that I don't know. I just Brother assume. Lynch hung. Like he's from, I think, Sac. Whoa. Lynch, yeah, Brother Lynch hung, and his whole shit was about digging up, going to the cemetery, digging up bodies, and having I'm sex never. with them. All this shit. Like his whole shit was very, very, very dark. But this is years and years ago. Like. like I don't even like that shit was so crazy. It's terrifying to hear it, but like, but how long, how long ago was this? That's what I'm saying. This lock was like 94, 93. See, again, the times were just so like, lock him up too. But that's what I'm saying. That's years and years and years ago. But all these people got. But you said lock him up too. But again, that's is that creative expression? If this is his way of getting his thoughts out. That's a black man. I mean, if we locking up the white boy, lock this nigga up too. I mean, it could also be just like anti weird shit. Yeah, I mean, because you listen to Playboy like, Cardi. What? You listen to Playboy Cardi. You listen to Playboy Cardi? You confirmed that or you just said some random I know you're a fan of that type of shit. But you know, all them, like. You do a lot of R&B stuff. You do, though. I do I'll give you that. You that's some random shit. You do fucking Playboy Cardi. You said he should have been number one on that list. What? That list we did, the complex list, you said he should have been number one. I think that was me. That oh. was not me. Uh, yeah. Well, it was six or 6.5. It was one of y'all. Yeah. That's crazy. Hell no. But yeah, so I mean. It's like you just gotta. I feel like they just checking temperatures because you see, he got right out. He got a year of probation. They searched his house. They found no weapons and something like that. It says so. I'm not saying it's okay. His but. music probably suck. If it was like con conceptual and it was pretty good, they'd be like, all right, nigga. Why it wasn't music? He probably was just on that bitch threatening on music. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Over a beat, he's threatening over a trash beat at that. Uh, <laughs> a threatening <laughs> ass poem. He's <laughs> true. Rap cap. But everybody, okay, never mind. Speaking of everybody, we <laughs> were just talking about crazy people and kids and being influenced by the world. There's some else in our hot topics. There's an 11 year old who had been arrested for a kill list. That's what I was talking about. That's the one you're mentioning. Yeah. Okay, so to give us some context, oh, the what manifesto. the fuck? This is what you. This is the so, one you're talking about. Yeah. So he was in Florida. He's been arrested after making a kill list of people from two different Damn. schools and bragging about his massive collection of weapons. Um, he had guns, knives, swords, all types of shit, and some of it was fake. Um, Says the oh, guns are fake. I see the orange. See the I see the orange. Some, some of it was fake, but still, it's enough to like. Now, this is one of those. It's we enough see to where pay. you're going, you buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely gonna have like, to check in with him. Yeah, and so what's going on? He my looks boy? sick. A lot of them. It's honestly like it's bullying. Bullying. Who is his? Yeah, you think bullying. it's bullying? Or, or something that's been influenced? Because what is? I want to know what the influence is for him to even think of this idea. Watching Cause, cause the news. Yeah, he's heard yeah, he's seen it other places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't go. They're making you do school shooter drills in school mm -hmm. now. So you know that this is a thing that can happen. So it's like, why not? It's like, Damn. I even, And 11 year olds are smart now, bro. Yeah, My, shit on there too. That's you know, crazy. Rips. <laughs> My niece is like nine and she's damn near, I feel like a genius in conversation. So I could imagine an 11 year old. I'm telling you. Like you see this on the news, your mom's watching a school shooter on the news. <laughs> I mean, you see it go by and they talk about bullying and all this. He looked like he's been bullied. And you know, they talk Sling, about this shit Slingshots, too. there's a lot of toys. Bro. It's a lot of toys, but it's still the sentiment. I blame the parents. Nah, that's a real knife. The right? knives are real, but the guns yeah. look fake. That's not just playing with toys, that's different. 
But right. it's just, got yeah. a list of people he want to unalive. And, and it's sim- it's the sentiment. Like, it's just the fact that he felt that way. He needed all that. They was, yeah, but, they their airsoft guns and stuff like that. Who so. bought the guns for him and the That's toys what I said. and the, the knives? Pe- so, you know, it just goes show something else in the house. Could be bullying, but it could be something in the house. Like I mean, so sometimes those right. parents are just actually trying to do... So, like, the other boy that just got arrested him. recently... His dad was like, yeah, he, yeah, there are guns in the house. Yeah, he knows how to use one. I take him to the range. Mm-hmm. We shoot. Yeah. And he, I teach him how to use a firearm. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. not thinking that he's going to use them to go kill people, which he ended up doing. And mm. now both the parents and mm. the son are in jail. Damn. It's like, I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking I'm just teaching my kid how to survive. I'm teaching my kid how to be a good kid. You're not thinking that they're going to go take that and run with that. Right. So it it all goes hand in hand. You're totally correct. It do start at home sometimes. Nigga taught him everything but how to fight. My my sister, my sister, my brother-in-law didn't allow my nephew to get toy guns. He was never, he was like, we're not even going to even play with that. We're not even going to like even think that's a thing. I think as he got to be like, Maybe nine or ten. I think he did get like his first little Nerf dart gun. But like at that young age where it's just like pow, 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 I'm going to shoot you. That like, is crazy. That yeah. whole like run around the house, aim at your sister's head and like shoot. Like, yeah, that was not. That's what my, my, my sister was like. No, nah, we ain't about to even take that chance. Yeah. And I think this one of those things like, oh, let's pacify little Johnny and let's buy him a new gun at the store so he can run around and shoot at animals in the backyard and shit. Like mm-hmm. that's how you start serial killers. Like, it could be. It's though. enabling. And We're- it's Florida. And, and Florida's it's Florida. Crazy. Yeah, it's Florida, man. The fact that it's Florida, it's just Florida, we should man. just summarize mm-hmm. it with that. We got to just get rid of Florida somehow. I don't know how. We just got to get rid of that shit. It just got to shake off. Cut that shit off. off. <laughs> the edge of the get rid of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Florida's crazy, dog. Then we lose Kodak. He can go, too. He that nigga can, crazy, too, He can get too, a passport man. and come back. You can go live somewhere else. Just get Florida off. Florida should switch with like. Don't we got videos of a lot of people? Don't we got videos of us? Time out. <laughs> Everybody gotta stay. Rick Ross, City Girls. That's okay. They're just not comp- they gonna Florida? be Florida. What, what Florida do to y'all? They're just gonna be the new. They're gonna be the new Puerto Rico. Yeah, he can come with us. I'm <laughs> saying, what Florida do to y'all? I'm pissed off about his name. Still, I didn't realize for the longest that his that name it was, was Florida. just Florida. Florida. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> it was Florida. That nigga's name is Florida. 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 Wow. See, See? Florida. That's Florida. why I said I'm pissed See? off about his name. Yo, he gotta go too for that bullshit. Going on, man. <laughs> no, we swap Florida with Puerto Rico. Like, like, Florida, 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 like Puerto, Puerto Rico, cross. Puerto Rico, thing. come on in here. What he we gonna to... do? Just sew them on? Like they, <laughs> can just, they, they already the treat... U.S. They can just chill where they at. <laughs> drag they drag the yeah. rock all the way over here. Yeah, no. And give them, give them Florida. Yeah, Florida like the crust on the bread. Niggas trying to cut that shit. <laughs> oh off. God, you have to. Them niggas. Hell no. We gotta do an earthquake or something. Just shake it Just off. Get it off. Just shake it off. That's oh. crazy. But yeah, no. Nah, I think that was a uh, that was sad. I uh, was, it, that one made me sad. None of us here have kids. No kids. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. If y'all have kids, would that be something you're conscious of of conversation? Just the thought of uh, I guess let's say you just imagine um, imaginary had kids right now in this day and age. Is that something that um, you emphasize in the home about gun safety or knowing what to do around weapons? Or do you want to completely just kind of blindside them from it to where it's not something that can influence them? Or do you put it in front of them to teach them like, here, you're 10, yes. let's learn how to load a gun. I or is it like, you're 10, you don't I, even know that yet. I think you, you have to find a way of kind of doing both in a way. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like to have him, I want my kids to be knowledgeable of things. And the only thing that I can do is just put my my like my thoughts and how I think shit should go pertaining to that. Mm-hmm. Now, if they take that and be like, fuck what you told me, dad, I'm going to be a serial killer. That's mm. their decision. But my mm-hmm. job is to give them all the tools they need mm-hmm. and give them the knowledge. So when shit happens out of nowhere, they're not like, what the fuck is that? What's going on? Prepare yeah. them. Like, like a nigga breaking the house and my 12 year old son is in there. He like, I know where daddy gun it right. I'm gonna protect daddy right, right. right you know that's a situation that yeah. I feel mm-hmm. like could be a it's benefit a cold to line that. to kind of teeter yeah. it's kind of worrisome because it's like you know you your kid them, knows where it's at or yeah. knows how to load it you give them that you power you never know it's, I don't, it's trust it's a lot of trust it is trust yeah I'm not saying I would necessarily want my kid to like go get the gun but like you never know safe, there, there are situations where I've seen on the news where like a kid saved the houses mm-hmm 
whole shit by fending yeah. off gunmen, like shooting yeah, them in the leg. My dad, when I was like, I think maybe nine ish, ten ish, he laid all his guns out in the living room floor. It was me, him, and my mom, <laughs> and he showed me like. This, this, is, this, rifle. this is your gun, <laughs> right. your toy gun. This, yeah. are, this is a difference. And let me show you. He showed, like, I remember he had, like, a six-shot revolver, and he showed me how to, like, where the bullets are, the difference in, like, nerf versus bullets, Fire. and don't just mm -hmm. what you don't touch. But I vividly remember him showing me his rifles and two of his pistols, and, like, these are daddy's guns. These are your guns. They do different things. This, you know, I vividly remember that. But I don't know if it ever really, like, in retrospect, paid off as I got older, but I probably mm -hmm. did. You know what I mean? It probably... Yeah. Cause they're gonna get exposed to it one way or another. Exactly. Yeah. That's they the don't point. know about it yet. Especially music. Then they're gonna Lord. be very yeah, influenced sure. to it. Especially music. Cause yeah. growing up in my house, like my pops had guns. He had guns hidden, but he never sh taught me or showed me. Mm -hmm. So as a kid, little nigga, this a Glock. When he, yeah. when the nigga was gone, yeah, me That's and my cousins was picking with. him up, yeah. and we. But yeah. if he would have taught me, not. From the stand of how to protect myself with it, but nigga, about it, these are in the house. This and gun safety. What this can do, yeah, like, you can take so. somebody's life away. Bro, I remember doing that. Don't don't we was they running around, at pointing at each other and shit. And it's I'm like, saying. you know how retarded that was. But if he would have showed me, like, yeah. nigga, okay, these are in the house. You ain't even got to know where they are, but. A kid going, bro, you're going to be a yeah. kid. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, I always said I wanted to. There's been kids' stories in the news. I ain't mean to cut you no, off. No, you good. Go ahead. But there's been stories in the news like about that thing, like a kid finding a gun and them thinking it's a nerf and like shooting their mom or like. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy because to pull a gun nowadays is like three pounds, four pounds of pressure. Like, I don't know how these kids be pulling them triggers. Kids be yeah. strong as hell now. Well, be holding it with two <laughs> hands. Like, different. Yeah. Food is different. Food is different now. Yeah, it's just steroids well, in that well, food. You ain't even seen these young ass fucking 15 year old. Oh, yeah, seven the, foot tall. Sure. Tall as shit. And, and full facial hair. Sure. Full school. facial hair. Puberty. All that shit. Periods, everything in middle school. No, it's the food. It's I the think I want to leave America, bro. God damn. No. No. Now we talking. Yes. America. Here we go. Bro, it's guns, all this no, now shit is talking, crazy yeah, yeah, when you really think about it. Country, ASAP, well, sure. you would have to research where you want to go. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to be up there with uh, Russell. Deal, what that nigga with Russell? Bullshit. Bali? You just got to figure out what yeah. other country's yeah. bullshit I'll be honest with you. is better than America. Most that's all what, of them. Stat know everything out. Where we going there? Because each one of them got <laughs> bullshit. Some of them may have killer mosquitoes. Some of them may have a fucking alligator problem running in people's houses. Nigga landed. <laughs> and you out the first month you just moved in you out right there nobody told me about the mosquito fucking you Google that was Last fucking you suck heard, you on the ambulance gurney and they like oh he didn't know about the mosquitoes huh <laughs> got nobody told you these. what you talking about no it's definitely we're, what we're, you mean mosquitoes we're, we're the worst country that's what we're known for everything. bro killer mosquitoes yeah, you know, go somewhere there. they cut your hand off you not supposed to touch that <laughs> you had a lot of sure. lemons huh yeah that's what they like <laughs> 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 This fool had a lemon tree in his backyard. Stupid. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's kind of let's stay in the same segue and let's go into something I think we skipped the other day, but I want to touch on. The baby launches mental health platform in honor of his late brother and self harm awareness month. And I kind of saw this because of what we were just talking about: mental health, kids, home, being protective of suicide and you know weapons and dangerous shit like that. So it says. Uh, the mental health platform, the baby cares in honor of his late brother, Glenn Johnson, for suicide prevention. Wow. In honor of my brother's untimely passing, I have become devoted to utilizing my platform and resources to provide the tools needed to combat mental health issues. Um, so this is somebody who obviously, on that one hand, kind of somewhat glorifies guns and things in his raps. But he's taking a different stance because it did affect his family negatively um, with somebody taking their own life. Uh, with weapons, but uh, what's y'all take on people who have a certain message, maybe in their music, but then also want to get a different message, like the alternative outside of music? I don't know if shooting niggas is the baby's message also, though. Uh, it yeah. is. Oh, he, 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 he actually he shot him at Walmart. No, no, I'm saying he actually he shot multiple he niggas. Like, get out here and kill niggas. No, yes, yeah, it, yeah, is. it is. It is, bro. He nigga try me. I think, I think all the most time of the stuff he raps about is him protecting himself. Play with me, I'll Run up, get done up. I got that iron in the library. They act scary. Like he's protecting himself. He's not. He's not pushing like, hey, go kill niggas. But he is. I think that I got it on me. He ain't on. He ain't on no. Hey, let's work this out. He's on. If you come up and I think you on some bullshit, I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna you. Protect That's. He's, nah. he's not ever gone to jail for murdering people. Amen. That's his message. He says it very clearly all the time. I, you fuck with me, I'm gonna get your ass touched. I'm gonna do it my damn self, and that's it. You out of here. He definitely says that a lot. I he do, gonna do feel his like damn self. I feel like this type of thing. 
and this is speaking from a personal perspective, there are certain things that you just don't understand until you're affected by them. Mm -hmm. And I can't stand a lot of the things that he's done in recent years, but I can very much say that I do feel like this is something that a lot of people don't understand until it happens to them. Mm -hmm. And then they want to go back and try and figure out how they missed it and what can I do differently and what could have like what could have helped this situation not happen this way so I do think that yes he very much so has been saying all of this shit but it didn't affect him really until he lost somebody in a way that he didn't expect to lose them Mm-hmm. And so he might be. We we actually haven't heard too much music from him right. that's been talking about any of it since then. Really, he's been trying to get back to getting the bitches because of what he said at uh, Rolling Loud. Was that mm-hmm. when he got canceled? Canceled for real. So I don't even know that he still preaches those messages. No, nah, he. But did. it definitely was. It definitely at one point, was. It was his. still yeah. <laughs> I think more so than I mean I know it's a little different. Uh, Someone unaliving themselves is a little different than just perpetuating guns in your music. I know there's a difference, but with it just yeah. being the health issues, the mental health issues, even with the kids that are influenced now and can end up being school shooters and, and uh, mental health issues, is this message received from our hip hop people? Is this, you know, something that we, because a lot of he's been getting flack for everything. Yeah. Is this something that we can say, all right, let's give baby some grace? I know you just said it almost <clears throat> like he's kind of rubbed you the wrong way a little bit in the past, but this is something that touches close to you. So let's hear him out. You know, is it, is it accepted from our people? And I feel like it needs to. I yeah. don't think that, <clears throat> I think that uh, self harm, um, suicide, I think that those are all things that aren't really understood. Or talked about enough. Yeah, they're not really understood by um, the the mass of the African-American or the urban community. There are certain things that are just kind of taboo that we don't ever really talk about. And yeah. it's it's almost shameful a little yeah. bit if you think about it. Like, people don't ever want to admit it. People don't ever want to mm-hmm. talk about it. People don't <laughs> want to say that it happened. And so if it's him... That has to do it, then so be it. Right. I don't really feel like this is one of those things where we should put a limit on who should right. be the person to do it. It right. needs right. to be done. Yeah. Okay. It yeah, needs that's to be said. That's kind of what I want to get to. What you thought? There's of it. too many black men in this world that are struggling with things that don't know how to even bring them out and speak on them because they don't know where to turn because they're afraid of being judged because they're mm-hmm. afraid of being you know laughed at mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. told to suck it up or told that it's it's whatever nigga be a man. We don't we don't do that. Like there's not enough people people that are out here really trying to push this line and make sure that black men know that they have somewhere that they can go to be heard, to be cared about, to be comforted, consoled, and then to be advised afterwards Mm -hmm. to figure out what the next process is after this, after the trauma, after whatever it is that you're going through, let's figure out how to get you past it. And let's, let's figure out how to like control your emotions about it and then let's figure out what you do after that to make sure that you can move forward and we don't have enough of that and there's been enough black men in rap that have been affected by this you know yeah. you have Waka Flocka I think Waka Flocka's brother took his own life if I'm correct correct me if I'm wrong um Joey Badass he has one of my favorite songs by him is called I think Survivor's Remorse and he talks about how he lost a friend that way. There are a lot of men that go through this and then don't really know how to pass that on to make sure it doesn't happen again. Mm-hmm. So I think that this is amazing. Yeah. Um, I wish that the world wasn't so, like you said, like we said, turned off of him right now so that it could be more widely affected because it's a necessary thing. It is very It's necessary. so needed. Especially in, like you said, in hip hop culture, black males. Yeah. To know that you don't have to be soft to talk to somebody. At all. Or to be going through something or even to feel like you may want to take your life. You know, things get bad and rough for some people. It's okay to talk to somebody, man. You know, cry on somebody's shoulder, go to some type of therapy. And get it off. So I think, for from fair to say, we definitely salute uh, the baby for pushing this narrative of mental health. Because yeah, if it's been if it's if it's affected you close to your family, you can see kind of our sentiments at the table have changed a little bit because it is serious, man. Yeah, it definitely you never comes know what somebody's from going through. You don't you don't ever know when it like, and that's the one thing. It's like some people have signs, some people don't. At all, you know what I'm some saying? Like just check out. Yeah, and it's nowhere. just any even going back to like what the the last topic with like what you have in the house, what's accessible, what's mm-hmm. there, like 
all of that plays a part. Like, all of that is all hand in hand. Like, there's just a lot. It's a, it's a sticky subject that people tend to tiptoe around that we need to just dive in head first and really tackle because we're losing way too many people because they feel like they're not allowed to feel. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed to emote. And they're not allowed to, you know, cry and be sad and be depressed. Like, nah, it's okay, black man. You can do that. That's not a problem. You just got to make sure you're in a proper place to do it with somebody that's a little bit more open-minded. Mm -hmm. And it's up to all of us to be open-minded and accept that from our loved ones because we would rather have them here than to have to live without them. Right. Yeah, I don't think it's ever... Man, everybody has a value, man. No matter what you feel, everybody's got a value. It's never okay to probably check out. You know what I'm saying? It's always ways to change things. And once you do that, it ain't changing nothing but leaving hurt. So think bigger, man. Think bigger. Prayers up to everybody who is battling those things. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, whatever gets better. <clears throat> Let's move into a little bit of ratchet because it got kind of yeah. dark. <laughs> Talk about uh, Black China beating up her boyfriend. I got to go real Yes. Quick. Okay. So we're going to move into Black China is now right. being sued. Crazy transition. For supposedly beating up her ex. I guess not supposedly. God, God damn. There is photos of it, actually. That ain't supposed. Uh, yeah, not supposed. He got his ass whooped. And <laughs> he's suing for $10 million, uh, for his ex-boyfriend. She said he, sleep? he said that she was sleeping. And she got on top of him, pretty much pinned him down. It was just assaulting him in his sleep, kicking and punching him. What did, what did he do? Until you wake up. Says, what did he do? Man, she hit him one good time with a pan. It's over with. Shmanak. What did he do? Uh, yeah, that claims was like, that Twin Hector, this is the guy, claims that during their three-year relationship, Black China would physically abuse him. He says, while living together in L.A., things hit the fan in 2021, and she brutally assaulted him in his sleep. Twin says she pinned him down and hit him with her knees, fists, and elbows. He included a photo of the alleged aftermath of the assault, which showed gruesome injuries to his face. And he's suing Black China for this. I did see just something this morning that Black China's mom, Tokyo Tony, is coming out and saying that it was her that did it. I'm assuming because she's like, she can't really be sued or she don't have anything to be sued for versus China. So I'm assuming my take on it is that uh, Tokyo is trying to take the blame to get China out of court. But yeah, this is what we're dealing with, man. Um, Oh, woman shit. beating up her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend or boyfriend at the time. Y'all ever do that with domestic violence? Uh, I've been slapped by a woman before one time in my life. Um, what was your reaction? I kind of just sat there. I was like, what the fuck? You just slapped yeah. me. I didn't know her that well, which was crazy. But oh, I, wow. I, 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 she called, crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was crazy. She caught me in the middle of a lie. Um, and I was like, crazy. I was, only, I was a young buck, too, when that happened. Damn. But when I see this... I just hate when people bring up shit that I... How, how long ago? Do we? 2021. Okay, three years ago. It's like, I don't like when people bring up old shit for real. Because I feel like it's a money grab. Obviously, it's, it's a money grab, right? Um, That's a long time to wait. Yeah, I, I hate that part of it. But at the end of the day, like, it, I think that she did it. I just think that he probably did some fuck shit, probably cheated, and she just made the wrong move, and so she got to pay for it. Yeah, but, nothing, warrants, nothing warrants this, like... You don't think so? I don't think that nobody deserves to like have their ass whoop in their sleep. Like I don't know what he did. He might have did some fucked up shit, but getting revenge is never the like physically putting your hands on somebody is never the option against it. I probably don't know what they had going on in their relationship. Especially if they relationship. were abusive to each other or if if like this is the one time where he like I right, she went too far, like they usually fight or something he like did. that. He did. He was saying that, that she was abusive the whole time, but I guess this is the one that pushed it over the top and he actually had photo evidence to prove it this time but see to me yeah. when th like you said to things like this it was three years ago granted it takes time courts process healing whatever you don't feel like you need to do it but you're not being sued criminally you're being sued for money it's, it's not a, a criminal it's, case yeah, it's, it's a bad it's, it's for a civil bad. case mm -hmm. so essentially you are it's a money grab yeah you do you don't want her to pay for it well you want her to pay for it but out of pocket mm -hmm. you don't yeah. want her to go it's to jail million. you don't want her yeah, yeah, 10 million. You don't want her to go to jail or suffer and, and pay restitution in jail or anything like that. You want her to put money in your pocket for suffering and damages. So, yeah, it definitely does seem like a money play. But is he entitled to, to doing that because of, look at his face. By the, yeah. by the law, yeah, he's entitled. But it's just like, I don't, and I hate, because I always see like, I feel like I'm normalizing like some toxic shit. Yeah. You do. but And I think, you know, I probably, yeah, I probably do. But it's like. And that's crazy. Don't get me wrong. This what is on his face is crazy, but it's just like when you're in a relationship, you know what I mean, and you know what you're doing to that woman, and you know women are emotional. 
and your niggas will prompt and push and do all type of fuck shit, and then when a woman snaps, they get upset. Because well, that's what we don't. That's what we don't know. You said what? If this was the other way around, we'd have I think he would. I think he would have been sued if it was the other way around. He'd have been buried under the jail. They would have made sure he was in jail. One, he would have been in jail. Two, a if, lot if, sooner. If you're doing all this to me and you beat my ass, I need ten million now, not three years later when times is hard. And this lady, she don't even go by Black China no more. She changed her whole life. Yeah, around. she been she been changing her life. Removing her tattoos and the only one thing about your life changes if what happens still happens. Bro, if we get in a fight and you yeah. fuck me I, I up, see if he was like, and then you get, you you get on and I come like five years later, you gonna be like, my nigga, come on, bro. I can yeah, see if he was like a model yeah. and it fucked up his face and it pulled away from his career and he lost money or something. But to just do that that much longer, I'm with Scotty. I just think just it's out of the out of the, the blue is crazy. I, know. I think it's wrong. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's wrong either way. Fair. It is, it, I'm not gonna lie it, It's low key good To see it on the other foot yeah. A little bit Just to kind of see the yours, But look we're, I bet the comments Are nowhere close to the same As what they were If it was the other way around Oh hell no yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, probably probably right. yeah And like we said earlier It wouldn't like, What did he say? How he know No <laughs> <laughs> How did he He said how he know He did his sleep no. Oh, they stupid. But if it was a girl getting beat like that. That's not funny though. Because that, it's vice versa, bro. I mean, this that, ain't funny either. Yes. Bro. yes. Yeah, no, nah, it's not. Yes, it's either funny way. when it yes. No, That's not, it's it's not, it's man, not funny bro. either way. So if he would have got up and looking like that would have whooped her ass. But my point is he probably did, gang. No more. That, yeah, it's not. Cause she can't defend herself like that. Ella! Yeah. You ever socked out a boyfriend? You ever hit a nigga one good time to check him one time? I was no, waiting no, for you to come. It's not one good time, nigga. Oh, yeah, she pummeled him. But you ever had yeah. to sock a nigga? Uh, uh, you know, not just a random nigga, a relation, like a situation ship. I have definitely gotten into a tussle in which, as a woman, I made up my mind that at that moment, if I was willing to square up with a man, like a man, that whatever was going to come to me was going to come to me because I fully believe that once you decide to cross that line it's up if you willing to put your hands on a man whatever is gonna come to you is gonna come to you and you should never do that <laughs> you should never do that i don't agree with that ah. so you mean i was young like if you're willing to do strong that. as hell i was real young i was very young what's interesting about that is from a, from the mindset of a woman right mm -hmm. you make a decision like all right i'm finna smack this nigga and if he decides to beat my ass, I got to take that. Do you also have a thought of like, if he does retaliate, I still got the upper hand because he shouldn't put his hands on me. Like at the end of the day, he's still going to get the worst of it. Is that ever a thing or is it I just... I feel like I was taught early, like if you finna, if you going, if you're going to hit any human being, that human being may hit you back. That's right. So if you don't want to be hit back, keep your hands to yourself. Or sue you for, for $10 million. Right. I've always been, that was like my earliest lesson. I remember coming home from school, telling my uncle, like, yeah, these it was some shit going on at school. And he was like, fuck it, we finna learn how to fight. I'm gonna teach you how to fight. And we stood in the garage and squared up and started doing boxing drills. And he was teaching me and he was like, now I'm gonna tell you like this. If you take it there, be prepared for whoever is about to, whoever you're hitting is going to hit you back. Mm -hmm. So it's going to hurt. Right now, you're just hitting me. I'm not hitting you back. But if they start hitting you back, it's going to hurt. You mm. have to be prepared for that. Male, yep. female, you should just really try and talk it out. But if they are putting their hands on you, then you need to know how to defend yourself. And if you go out there, don't go out there starting shit. Finish it. Mm. That was his thing. You don't start fights, you finish them. But he also said, once you do that, be prepared for whatever's mm. going to come to you. And so I've always been like that. And that's why I was like, it was just a little gear up in your head. It's like, this nigga got me so fucked up. This is happening. This is happening. This is happening. Ah! And it was just like, that's just what it is. And we going to touch one. Luckily for me, thank God, he just hemped me up. He just hemped me up to the wall, put me up off my feet and just had me on the wall. Like, you got to chill. I've had to do that. You got to chill. Like, I'm holding your arms. I'm with all this with it. And he like, I'm, you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Is there a level of respect after he does that? And just like. For sure, cause it's like, like okay. you, respect, you respect the dominance. Not even like a no. It's not even like it's that. It's just you know, like Don't I've play. been, I've been out niggered. <laughs> <laughs> I have been out niggered. It doesn't and compare. I'm literally out 
nigga again. You missed like, it, me. So it's pretty but much like, <laughs> but next time, you're nigga. really like you're really molded. Like you're really yeah. just molded. Like damn, he you is know, so you know, yeah. Don't even but try. But you know, but you also can size up a nigga and know the niggas that I could take you, bro. I don't know. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. No looking I've at your nigga and being like, I could really. You gotta lead a relationship, bro. I've had those conversations before where I just be like, nigga, I don't want you. I could walk you. I got a girl think she could take me, and I'm like, you think you could take me? No like, woman can take a man yeah. unless you're training physically she, for that. Uh, I don't believe it. Shields will beat your ass. That Who's that? She. Clarissa Shields? Clarissa cold as fuck. She There's boxer. no woman. She's a trained boxer. But that's no, what I'm saying. I'm not even saying like the fuck that. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about one on one. No. no. She's the shit, bro. Hell yeah, she will dump my ass. She's the shit. What? She'll whoop your feet. Hell yeah, she'll whoop but my yeah. feet, nose, eyes, and everything. She's yeah. not just a boxer. She's one of the best <laughs> fucking boxers there. I said a regular girl from next door. But that's what I'm saying. That don't work if out. You're a salad and work that motherfucking yeah. Yeah. Whole Whole girl, A girl that you fucking with or a guy that you fucking with, sometimes, yeah, you can. You can assess it. Like, I've been in situations before, like, I was in a relationship where he got super drunk and I could. I could get him like every mm -hmm. time. Oh and hell no! no that's just, that's like bully clear, nigga. Because if you can get him, anybody, anybody can get, get him. him. Like nah, that's out. But no again, way. like I said, that was always, always only when he was super drunk. Oh like, yeah, when yeah. He was that's super different. Drunk. I don't even get that. Wrong plan. No, that was wrong plan. You was talking about what? Put a nigga in your life. Take a nigga. That was some real. Real, real shit. Like, but when you get drunk, I love when you put your head on. Put my breathing out, baby. I love a sphinx. I love oh, when you put me in the head. But that's baby. a bruh. That's a lady, bruh. <laughs> South Beach toe. No, that's a strong. That's person. literally she, a I said lady, the average bro. girl. She throwing them. That's not the average. That's Donnie Diamond. That look like Kimbo. <laughs> say that's Donnie Diamond. Wow. Wild. <laughs> Donnie, I would not take that if I was you. I would not take that level of disrespect, my boy. I love you, D. That's my nigga, oh, but I had to get it. Whoa. What the f? Hey. What? Hey, yo. yo. What? I, I didn't hear what he said because I was. Pause. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, I didn't even hear that because I was saying thank you, my boy. Oh man, uh, yeah, yeah no, that, that one don't count. That was Mr. Lady, nigga. That, that was like don't Kimbo count. Slice, nigga. Now, yeah. what no. I will say though, okay, so man, let's rest in peace. Let's take this all the way back to the beginning of this. Mm. I have a little tidbit that's actually gonna kind of uh, throw y'all a whole little shit off. Since this allegation has come out, uh, check your Instagram DM. Tokyo Tony, who is Black China's mother. Oh yeah, I had mentioned it, but we got more. got more content. Yeah, actually took credit for this beating. Mm. She did a whole live where she explained all of this and was like, "I did it." He was asleep, so he don't know who whooped his ass. Yeah, that's what I was oh, saying. She wow. trying to take the the civil suit off her off her um, Black China. Yeah, that's because that's very, she don't have the money or the ability to be sued probably the same way China does. So she like, "I did it, nigga." That's very so, yeah. very like. You don't find this? Don't tell no motherfucking bitch. I beat your mother in like a. I said I was. I said I was coming to LA and whoop your mother that playing games with me and my mother's daughter. So now you want to play games and say she did that to you? This short, this little did that to you? No, I came there and I beat your mother in that. Go tell him that. Go tell him that. Talk about some do his mother. You know, you went to mother. <laughs> after I finished your mother. Yeah, Tony. Yeah. Kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now try it again. And I'll do your mother. Is she from Florida? That's hella funny. Where are they? Where are they from? I don't know where they're from. Where? Where? Man. Just as a man, you don't find I think this Baltimore? suspicious. Is it Baltimore? Very much so. from? As a man, I wouldn't you want find no no woman. I wouldn't even want this around my name, bro. Oh, she's Dominican. She's I don't know where they're from though. Fucking less. She's Dominican. Let's she fucking go. <laughs> I think she did it. She absolutely did it. She didn't do it. If she I think she did it. She, did it. she absolutely. I got an auntie like her. I think she did it. Why? Why, me too. Why would he? Why would he say that? Black China did it. Yeah. Why would he say that? Tokyo okay. didn't come in that house and whoop his Tokyo ass. Tokyo did. I don't think Tokyo did it, but I think that this honestly is the most exemplary example that we're ever going to see of a mother protecting their child. Yep. Yeah. 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 She going. She going. And they don't even really fuck with each them. other, but this just goes to show right. they fuck with each other. At the end of the day, that's still my daughter. 
I could do whatever yeah. I want to do. I could say whatever I want to say about her, but can't nobody else do it. Yeah, that eye is out of pocket. Why did she? Yeah, do I think that everybody thing? knows that she didn't. do What it. she hit him with? I don't think we know that, that she didn't do that, bro. Fists. No, 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 Tokyo no, no, did not that, do Tokyo? that. How do you is know? Why would why you would, don't believe why it? Why would he know. come out and say that Correct. her daughter did it? Because she, her daughter got the money. So what you I think this, from that so this is a clear money grab. So hypothetically, what, what could have happened? He went to the you bar. You playing with my daughter. She's in love. And when I came to LA, Angela opened up that fucking door. And I'm going to beat this nigga ass. And I no, hit him I with something that, when he's sleep. But I'm saying. It's a, that's a so fair shake. I mean, it's not. Un, still down, I mean, it's not. It's not. All you need is one good hit. Boom. It's not unfathomable. Right. I mean, so you could yeah, be right. To be real with you, as I'm looking at this, it's really only his eye. That's it's all blood. Nigga minimizing. It. <laughs> it's bro, you hit that nigga with his, 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 his skillet. It's all his eye closed for four months. And you talking about it's just his eye. Only his eye. That motherfucker. Oh, I can see her like, yeah, I told you, nigga. I, 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 I can see that. But she was laughing at the end of the video. I know she didn't do that. <laughs> she did that damn kick. I was like, all right. Tokyo ain't do that. I love she that kicked her shoe off. Does he Does he win the lawsuit and get the money? He but might. Now he do, right, because she said she done did it. He but might get a settlement. She ain't going to get it. I think she they ain't got settle. money to give him $10 million. I think they would settle. I wouldn't take that to court. He going to get a payout. Oh, well, I wouldn't have said nothing. I would have just been like, he's He going to get a couple dollars. Well, you they don't probably know got what text got, messages, they all got, type of shit. They got ring Damn. footage. You probably got him leaving out the house with the eye lump, the ambulance coming, something lump. stupid. Like, you know they got... he. You're not... No lawyer is actually going to really pursue that unless they have something. Something. Yeah, something besides and getting hearsay. Pro bono, yeah. But right. again, if it was another foot and that was a woman, it wouldn't need no hearsay. All you got is a photo and you said he did it, guilty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it is kind of yeah. tricky. It's, that's that... That's that... Um, Favorite? What were we calling it? Privilege. Uh, no, no. Um, double, double standard. standard. Double we standard. talking about versus men versus women. Are good. We like double standards to a certain extent. We like to double standards. Standard. Yeah, to a certain extent. Speaking about boxing and beating niggas up and suing and suing and punching and bloody and craziness, uh, Devin Haney has reported fi reportedly filed a lawsuit against Ryan Garcia for battery fraud and unjust enrichment relating to their fight in April. Um, on Friday in New York, seeking damages, blah, 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 blah. Because, uh, remember Ryan Garcia was tested positive for PEDs? Oh, yes, yes. So he's now, he's now suing. He's suing him for that, for putting, for taking performance enhancement drugs before he fought him. Mm -hmm. Correct. Unjust enrichment. You got, got you. Money off of cheating. Ah, got you. Okay, so he's suing him just for all That's specifically crazy. for the fight. And battery, how do you, how do you sue battery, a fighter? Yeah, suing for battery fight. in a boxing we match. Signed, we signed an agreement to fight. And under these the, rules. Under these rules, and you went outside these rules. Oh, and, and you abused it. Ah. You said you was going to beat my ass. You did. Against these rules, you beat my ass against you. Yeah. Ah, got you. That's okay. like fighting a nigga, and then he take the bang serum. You like, hold on. Man. <laughs> yeah. That's a cold back door to sue a nigga for, in this case. Nigga secretly drank the I mean, the, I can see Black it, Panther though. I can't do the way he was just explaining. I can see it, though. Like, you can't. That's unfair. Yeah, if you're you, taking that type up, of drug, yeah, you could really whoop me, and I'm not prepared for that. Oh, and me. he was super overweight too. Mm -hmm. Remember, he didn't make weight, so he lost his his money uh, bonus because he didn't make weight. It says representing he tried to make weight and failed. Yeah, he didn't make so weight. So it was also he didn't even make the weight. Was the fraud part? Did, did y'all watch the fight? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, there. Okay, that's. I guess we should have read more. They probably can see it. We should have read it a little bit further. Garcia committed battery because his contest was limited to about held fairly under the rules, and he also claimed fraud because he represented that he had tried to make weight and failed. He thinks intentionally. So these are all legitimate things to technically sue for. It's just, I'm a boxing fan. I, I love boxing. I think this waters it down. It, it just doesn't. Well, it, it, this doesn't water it down. It just doesn't look good for Devin's career. Like if you saw the fight. Yes. Did he test positive for PDs? Yes. We do we know which PDs? No. It was a type of steroid. But it's like but the said, ass whooping I saw. I don't know what that steroid contributed to. The what? Like Devin, we all saw them left hooks coming. I don't know how you didn't see those coming. Right. But the thing is, Ryan Garcia is not as strong as a puncher as Devin Haney, and also the place. The, the, the midsection on the on the right side of Ryan Garcia's weakest point, that's where Javante Davis like has dropped him. Down. Yes. When Devin Haney punched that nigga in that same exact section eight times in a row, he was oh, aiming. He was, he was going Devin's not a Devin's not a hard puncher, and we know this. Right. Devin lost because he kept getting clipped. Right. One Javante punch took about 
Eight Devin Hayes. Gervonta Davis, though. You know, I get it, but, but that's eight, eight, eight hits punches. Eight, eight punches. He's not a hard body. punch. If my little sister hit me eight, eight times in the what PD eight of his punches equal one. How many knockouts does Devin Hayes have? And what PD can actually make you take a hit? Seven times more. Well, that's quite literally what a steroid does. It's no, where you're weak. but Devin didn't lose because he was. Devin lost because he was getting the brakes knocked off his face. Like this was, is what I'm trying. That could be true well, too. It, him, it him getting the fairness of it because you weren't fair. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, see, that's, that's his whole point. The, fair, the fight wasn't fair, so would that have really happened had he not been on these drugs? <sighs> we we don't it's know. Almost like a, we don't have almost evidence. Acting like a sore loser. D- yeah, that's what I'm. You acting like a sore. You suing now and all like I, that. You cheated, mm-hmm. nigga. You cheated. I need my brother. I, yeah, I feel him. I feel him though. Like nigga, we, we got the fight and you taking crack before we fight. I guess fight? yeah, if he's suing him for money. If the, it, if the winning pot, so let's say our race outside, right? Yeah. Was, a thousand dollars. We both walk home with a thousand, but you get an extra fifteen hundred if you win. Mm-hmm. And you cheat. And you cheat. Now nah, I need yeah. that money. I need my fifteen. No, you're right. You're right. Hey, yeah, you're right. You I you you broke the agreement. Fuck the fight. You broke the right. agreement. I'm out here going off straight grit, and you turned this hell. How many Dust knockouts you got? Fifteen. Fifteen knockouts. Out of thirty-one. Well, let that nigga punch you in the stomach eight times. Nigga, did you just come down here with food? Whole bowl of cereal. That's crazy, young nigga. Young nigga in the afternoon. Oh my Bachelor god. Bachelor life. <laughs> and the thing, I, I see Devin Haney quite a lot. He be at um. Uh, that bowling shit on Mondays, I forget what it's oh, called, King right? King. Yeah, at Kingpin, I see him a lot. I just from a, as a boxing fan, bro. Just I get it, take, but we all we saw that shit on the national stage. Tell it's him that when he lay your ass and roll you down the motherfucker. <laughs> Let lane. him punch you eight Ooh, times. In when the I see them, like, I fuck with you, bro. I fuck with you, bro. I fuck with you, big bro. I think it's a cheater, big bro. What you do, that nigga? Sue that nigga, big bro. Call that nigga, big bro, and everything, man. You're right. You're right. I'm older than nigga. What up, big bro? <laughs> Get your bread. Oh, bro. that's funny. <laughs> Big bro and a young nigga is funny. Yeah, yeah. How old is he? 25. 25. 25? Right. That's crazy. 25. Look, nigga, look 39. Got them punches to the face. Oh, he, I don't think he's. Supposedly he said he didn't uh, know he was taking something that was illegal. Asterisk. 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 Type of drugs with androgen, androgen receptor modulator. But basically, you move faster, you feel less shit. Mm. Yep, that's cheating. <laughs> that's for sure cheating. That's a hundred percent cheating. So I guess I guess it makes you look like a sore loser. But in that case, we didn't follow the rules before us to even fight before we even yeah. stepped in the ring. Because he could be like, "You beat my ass," but it was some extra shit going on. I just think Devin wants. I ain't saying his skill was better. No, yeah, I think he wants it to be a race, but we it's not. You can't erase it. It's over. It's like well, because people saw it. But yeah, that's I mean, why. on his yeah. record, you don't get it on the record. Yeah. You know what? I always wondered about uh, like that type of thing. What happens to all the people in Vegas that had money? Mm, you fucked. With your wages, once that bout is over, no matter what it's happened, yeah, you lost your money. The outcome, no matter who money cheated, you really? can't go sue. Vegas still pay you because you can pay that what immediately, or, or it depends on which way you bet. Yeah, if you, you do it in Vegas, you put your ticket, go claim it. Damn, that, I, like I, right I, after the fight is over, you can go down you, to the MGM, give me your ticket, and get you. You can't money. fight it, like you can't like contest it, like later yeah. on, unless you get an attorney and maybe sue and try to get like a what's the thing? That's my uh, plan, bro. Look at all the shit he causing. Nobody get like that's lost all that money. I get it though. You look. I mean, all right. So if they fought again. Higher or lower no knockdowns? 1.5. Who, like who? Touching the mat? 1.5. No, if they from, fought again. Bro, what I saw? Higher or lower? Know. I know I'm still going to ride Garcia over Haney. The, because of what you saw. Even with the, the way he cheated, I get it. But Devin took some shots that was just unbelievable. Like, how do you not see how this coming? Like, yeah, how do you not see this coming? So yeah, if Ryan, no, is, Ryan is cold as a motherfucker. So if no performance enhancement drugs, is that still going to happen? I'm still he probably would still win. I don't know anything about this. Hey, how does that work? <laughs> hey, how would that work with uh, with underdog six? Uh, maybe you might know, like with boxing, because it's not really punches like punches landed. If punches, if punches landed, it's fight time. Um, okay, so there's other categories for yeah. boxing. Like rounds. Maybe? Rounds, yeah. How many rounds it goes? Or when it'll Because I don't think here. you can just pick head up Victor Like on, on underdog You can't just pick the winner be, Right You gotta go all stats Huh All stats related Geronte got a fight coming up I'm so excited <laughs> Oh my god Got hey. you Alright well shoot The reason I'm asking that question Because it is the time For the second drop Of underdog Under I'm, Under bro, woo, 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 This app woo, woo. This app is an easy way To make some cash Just by making picks On your favorite <laughs> players And or boxers 
and you can win up to a thousand times your money. So Underdog is still available in 30 states and growing, including Cali and Texas. Support this show and all the shows on the FMW Network by hitting that link in the bio in the chat to download the Underdog app ASAP. Sign up with FMW as your code and get some bonus cash in a free pick. Hmm. I actually just talked to Jack about that. I was hounding him about some stuff. I'm like, bro, I'm about to really go crazy with this. Yeah, He's like, let's see? do it. So... I'm about to go crazy with the underdog. Basketball season's right around the corner. Football's getting good. WNBA's in the playoffs. Baseball's still going. Yeah, put your higher or lowers in, man. Win some money. How fun. I really mm -hmm. got to learn how to do all that stuff. We got to. We're going to just, just do We're going to pull it. If you, so let's say you do like higher or lower on six different things. The multiplier is 20X or 10X or some shit like that? It's, well, no, it's, it's more than that. If you, if, you hit, if you hit six, isn't it up to the thousand? Hey, okay. Whoa. Hit six. Yo, y'all crazy. Oh <laughs> they said, hold on. They crazy. Nigga said, I'm gonna do this now. Because if you put two bands up, that's 20 bands, bro. You can do like an eight line. So, yeah, there's a no, percent. So, there's the time, the X. It's telling you that you did it wrong. It was like 40 X? What does that yeah, times, so 48, it all depends on the, the odds of the pick. So, if you see, like, when he's clicking higher on the players, it says, like, four, what, go back. Whoa. So higher, 4.58x. Four, 4. It's adding x points. If you pick that one and they get higher, it's adding x points to so your picks, I believe. If you bet a band, how much you get back? Off of, and that's what, five? So if I, if I, if I place a $1,000, this is a 250 times pick, I'd get 250000 Jesus That's the type Christ. of shit I'm going for. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. It depends on what you pick it. It depends on what you pick it. Bro, two hundred fifty thousand. But, but the what the shit he's picking is probably gonna be super hard to hit. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, Scotty. I I put down a hundred and like left for like five. So definitely. It depends on what you're picking. You only gotta get lucky once, right? For something like that, two hundred fifty off a thousand. Come on, man. You only gotta do it once. Like that's the thing. So it's fair to I say. I wish we would have did that the day. That's, I right right that's off a of five picks. Pick. Sure if we would have did that the day I did my picks, everybody would have. And look, four. If you pick a flex, flex pick, four of them wins you one twenty five. <clears throat> if you Crazy. chose flex pick instead of standard pick, you can win for one twenty five. You you lose a little if you hit the now, five, but clearly, if they're giving away. 250 clearly the odds got to be damn near impossible. that's what i'm saying what's yeah. your, what's your, like, look if your look, dumb ass he gets picked, this he shit, picked right? higher on home runs how likely is it is something oh yeah see what happens run. if you change it oh you gotta go how many home runs the odds are different it changes it drops because look it's four times if you see his home runs is, is 0.5 if he hit oh, one it's yeah. 4.5 oh. times it's adding to your multiplier if you pick something that's harder to them for them to accomplish, it makes it harder for you to hit the money. Your multiplier is higher. I'm, uh, I'm learning. So they're really. So if you pick the easy stats, you may your hundred may only win you one fifty. Okay, let's do football. Oh shit, only one fifty. I'll take it. Okay, yep. we, we like Jalen. We like Jalen. So pick something more reasonable on stats. Get out of baseball. Let's do more like passing yards or running or rushing yards. Damn, two hundred fifty thousand. Man, <laughs> I know that you think. Okay, so Jalen has not been doing good. Jalen has not been doing too much shit. But you see how each one of his choices you can pick has a multiplier on it. Yes. If it's the harder it is, the higher that multiplier I number is. I see now. So like, uh, what's that? First quarter rush, uh, rushes plus receiving touchdown. So if he has a rushing touchdown or he catches a touchdown, at least one in the first quarter, that's why that multiplier is so high. Also a quarterback. The like, yeah, he's not going to catch one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he might rush one, but... That it just makes your multiplier harder. If it's harder a stat to hit, it raises your multiplier. So it's all about how bold you feel. Mm. You can pretty much put your picks in however you feeling. For I'm gonna day. go do you this. Go this modest, week. Mm. or you can go daring. You got no anything about his relationship. Yeah, how his week went. How we if went he's in. on his period. If okay. If he's, on if he's got one in the chamber. If he's yeah. got one in the chamber. <laughs> Did he get that off before the game or not? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh well, hey, it's crazy how this shit always happens. It kind of leads us into our last point right here. Uh, what I said is he on his period. <laughs> Boosie's daughter cries, explaining how he doesn't support her sexuality. Wait, yeah, he doesn't support her sexuality. So, uh, Blue, Boosie's daughter Ivy emotionally calls him out. For constantly attacking her sexuality. I've been I've never bad mouthed you as a father, but mentally you suck. Yeah. So she, I'm assuming, likes women. Yeah, this is the same daughter that he's always always into. had the issue. Well, they got that picture of him throwing his hands up so like I don't give a fuck. She's not transitioning and she's just she's just she just yeah. likes women. Okay. 
and he doesn't he's very anti lgbtq very homophobic he's anti anything he is yes if i don't like it i'm gonna say something about it i really don't even know where to start for real because this ain't even my character. Is this the one? It's the one that I hate him too. It's not my character, but I'm doing. You know, he ain't giving y'all what y'all want. But she don't talk on their family stuff though. Give y'all what y'all want, and he want me to give him what he want as well. Why I got a rainbow background? Okay, so marketing. Speaking on my sexuality, the whole world know that. Right. Um, and it it been about two years now that. I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I won't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my fault, regardless. Like, I'm going to accept him and love him for who he is. So, I just seen you recently did an interview with Carisha, and he used the word contaminate. Mm. Mm. With your daughter. And putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, she holding them tears back. Yeah, she is. She made me so mad. Yeah, she, she can't even back. look at. Yeah, can't look in the camera. If you know me, that's got to be hard. I love and respect my siblings with everything in me, and they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you get on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers, you don't want to grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said, you felt that I was gay. That I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B-word. When you called me a gay B-word. Mm. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you, you wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, Nigga, I'm your blood. Right. I am your daughter. Mm, I can't watch it. I know that shit got me yeah, low key sweating. Yeah, yeah. What did what did what did he say about her he specifically? Said that basically, he said something along the lines of her sexuality and her choices is contaminating her siblings' decisions. Like they they look up to they look to her f- to help them make decisions. So he feels like they're gonna start. She's she's contaminating her other siblings. So uh, and he's always been vocal, obviously, about being anti-gay and about this daughter in particular. They've always had a back and forth, but like she said, she, you don't ever really hear from her too much. Yeah, I wish she wouldn't. I mean, he. I guess he's talking about her thing. I wish family business would just stay family business. That's yeah. I start there for sure. I yeah. would. I think it's. I mean, no one's really right or wrong, but I would question if rather he he takes care of her as a daughter. Right. As a parent, I'm not a parent, but I would imagine I can feel a way about how my kid is living their life. And I think I should be allowed to publicly do that. bash your kid, bro. Right. Yeah. She I don't think he's publishing in interviews. You're publicly that bashing. He's been bashing. That's why she has her and her. Sexuality. Well, there's an idea, right? That to sneak this in her. There's an idea that when you are homosexual, that that is a mind virus or a virus that spreads and that contaminates other people. That is an idea that is an ideology that's out out there. I don't know. That's but a bold take, Scotty. Like and, and that's a bold take. The game. Like, yeah, that's a bold like take. You don't think that well, that's you I don't, don't think that that's a thing? I don't think that's wrong. I think, you're he was wrong. Just I think about that's in the Bible it talks about that that's that that a is a spirit. Ancient, yeah, I was gonna say that's a very ancient, like old school mindset. Ancient or, or biblical? Let's be clear. Bi- the Bible is ancient. But it's that you're going to follow your sibling because that's their choice of sexuality. Well, she's one of the older ones, right? So yeah. to say that she's not influencing her younger siblings, I don't think, I think that that's not some, true. That was a, it was a better... Age. I think if he had more like emotional intelligence, he would have been able to like 
um, like elaborate on that yeah. and use different For words. Sure. Like yeah. using the word contaminate is and, fucked and call up. Her a gay yeah. bitch. Yeah, because yeah, that, that's insinuating. Gay bitch is that crazy. wording or is illness. wild as hell. He can tell you can tell your child you don't agree with something that they do without being disrespectful. And, bad. and I think that's what's fucking her. And true, he true. Don't, he, I agree with that. She know he don't like that she's yeah. gay, but just respect. It. But do you, but I think just how you were object. And I granted, she's intimate. That's her father. You never want to hear that. Yeah. But thinking objectively, like, do you think Boozy meant it in a disrespectful way? Or Absolutely. Do- He's very outwardly really? like. That's why I was saying he thrives. He's on scared of that. Saying shit. all of these things that he does not it. agree with. No, dead ass. Super like, homophobic. He is very much yeah. so trying to tell you like I don't fuck with this at all. I think it's gross. I think you're weird. I think it's ugly. I don't like. And it he brings and God like into you. it a lot yeah. to where it's yeah. like, but doesn't you're it, not holier than thou? But you use God in this doesn't, context. Doesn't the Bible say like you go to hell for? But that's his for point that though. But you're not godly. Who's not godly? You doing everything else? But why now you want to follow the Bible because they say thou shall not. Sleep with the yeah, same people sex. like to pick and choose which parts Shit. of the Bible. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. You can have sex out of wedlock, but all of a sudden, right. the Bible's the end all to be all the rules we gotta follow. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I hate about so that's point. your Christianity you're being sometimes. hypocritical. Her, to her yeah. point, he's being hypocritical. Right. right. I'm right. working about seven commandments, but right. I got nine you doing kids. this one. He paid for one kid to fuck a prostitute, but now God don't exactly. want to yeah. be gay. Crazy. That's another thing, too. Crazy. He pushes women bring, on his young boys. can't bring religion into that when you. On live, telling women to show their vaginas, yeah, and you'll get them money. Damn, so maybe he that is lust. just all the way wrong. No, he is he's wrong. promoting <laughs> prostitution. Yeah, it's wrong for the fact that that's his daughter sins. from jump. It, it's not yeah. like he's talking about a random person or associate or a person he had beef with. That's, that's your. That's your not daughter, your ex girlfriend. That's not your ex wife. That's your yeah. daughter. Yeah. You when they ask those questions, you probably should just not even address like, it. Like I'm not gonna yeah. speak on. I'm not gonna speak on it. His PR team should tell him to just skip. And what? Those what is they questions. always into I mean, shit, it's working. They are. It's They're getting always them, it's getting them into it. It's a hot topic, but it's like, Man, you got to talk. Eventually, yeah, stop talking about. I'm it. trying about to think. This is the same. This the same one that he bought the car yep. for. And that's and what it I'm was a pink car. She didn't because he was trying to force that feminine energy on her. So he bought the car, wrapped yeah. it in pink, and was like, "Boom!" The she didn't want a She pink was car. like, "I just don't. I fuck with it. I love you. I'm grateful, but I don't." What time out though? Damn. Okay. If you if your dad bought you a car, you gonna turn it down. That's like no, but listen, if it's if it's passive aggressive mm-hmm. and he been doing little there's shit like this, you're not. Oh, there's meaning in the color. The color is yeah. 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 it's femininity. Got you, yeah. got you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Like all color cars. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, fair, fair, fair. Like I'm it like, was like that color pink. Like he yeah, was yeah. like okay. Barbie super that. super feminine. Oh no, you wrap this shit pink. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. like, you don't want me pink at first. No, Pussy, but, don't be an asshole, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm like, it's he's been past it, and that's why she was like, he you trying saying, to bully her. You saying when you found out I was gay? Really, you found out I was gay over here, and you was running around calling me a gay bitch. That's your daughter. You looking your daughter in the face and saying, B- "You gay bitch." Da, 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 da. I'm playing a lot of devil's advocate. Oh hell! But in a, in a household, Stop doing that. In, a, in a household, <laughs> I'm glad he took it from no, me. I don't have to do it anymore. In a, in a, it's in a, in a, great. In a household, have we never heard a mom or a daughter be like, "You little bitch," because your daughter's being unruly? But to never. use their sexual connotation yeah. to bring them down I is different. Sexuality never. plus a bitch is even worse. No, it is even worse. It is even worse. It is even worse. You little my mama has. Never, ever, wild as hell. ever call me out my name, bro. <laughs> ever. Uh, you don't think my so? My mother has Megan, what, never fixed her mouth up to call me. Yeah, me and my mom are hella close, oh, but that's true. My mama has never. Does it happen? Yes. But that's very toxic. I, I mean, my mama I, I called think me toxic, a bitch one but I, think, <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I think life I'm and bro. family and, and sex and blood tends to be toxic. <laughs> Whoop, I think the problem is it's bitch? just on a major platform. You know what I'm saying? It should be behind closed doors. And it's boozy. Yeah. Like, well, how much are we really? I mean, I love Boosie. I'm not gonna take nothing away from him. But how much are we really respecting what he says outside of you know entertainment or music based? Now you're bringing in real life things into the headline. And you think it's just all for clicks and whatever? That's yeah. the problem. Everything Boosie's doing is for attention base. He's had so many hot takes over the last few years. It's just like here you go. Like that's really how but I, I still fuck with him though. I still yeah, fuck, I with, fuck him, with him. I think he got good points, but he just it's his daughter, which is why I think it's a little yeah, different. Yeah, I just yeah. feel like as a parent, I'm not a parent yet, but 
that's something that I aspire towards is to make sure that I'm always giving my children a place where they feel accepted, loved, and welcomed. Mm -hmm. Even if we got to go through the nitty, like, we got to go get down and dirty and figure out all your shit, we going to figure it out. For the men, what if you have a... Uh, uh, damn, I, I ain't even going to do it. You finna do the, the, the Twitter question, gay son? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even want to... No, I mean, you might as well. It's, it's a good take. I mean, the same thing. Like, so he's, how going, would you he's feel? going very hard on a woman being gay versus... How would you feel if your son is gay? Would you accept it and, and nurture that idea? Or would I, you I would, push I would, against I would, it? I would embrace it. I don't think I would nurture it. I don't think I would encourage it. Yeah. I don't think I would be have any uh, negative connotation to him about it. Me and my girl may talk differently or me and somebody else, but to him... He has to know as my child that I support him. As long as he's not self-harming himself or anyone else, he's not doing anything detrimental right. like that, you got to yeah. let these people be themselves. It's a tough thing to do, yeah. of course, but that's your child. It's your seed. He came from your yeah. nuts, bro. Like, And if you turn him away just because he loves someone else and wants to be pleased by someone of the same sex, then so be it, bro. You cannot let that detour relationships yeah. with something like that especially as a as a boy even though he may be gay he still needs that masculine energy he still needs that fatherly instinct instilled yeah. in him and you pull that away just because he likes men you're shorting that man of potentially having any masculine traits you're already so anti why are you gay well you didn't even accept him enough to teach him some masculine shit with it like at least yeah. be, a, be if you want to be, be somewhat versus... masculine you know what I'm saying like so don't let that weigh on especially kids man like they need that support. You know what I'm saying? And that's not a good thing. But if my son or daughter chose to do so. Yeah. I'm actually shocked that yeah. he's going as hard as he is over a, a, female, a female being yeah. a lesbian. Because I feel like in society, society as a whole is way more accepting of lesbian women and he promotes that type of stuff in his me. music too. Exactly. Fucking two Now make five bitches. Yeah, but maybe it's because <laughs> why you guys <laughs> light skin in the back. <laughs> he does the voice so in good. In a back kiss. It cut you off so much. Every time it just throws you off. But maybe it's because she's a stud. Like she's a masculine. Mm, and not like feminine. Hang around studs coming up. <laughs> the Boosie. Look, if you go it's look at the whole daughter, thing, though. Boosie is one of the, the archetypes of, that oh, they stud. use. Stud. <laughs> it's what? Boosie, stud. Manny Fred. How ironic, right? It's Manny Fresh, Boosie, Boosie, yeah. uh, <laughs> Boosie for sure. Those two, like Queen Latifah. Uh -huh. It's like uh -huh. a figure. Yeah, but that's, that's why I think it's just so weird. I hate that for her. So you think if she was femme, gay, he would be more acceptable? No, I think no. he would still no. have a problem with it because she, unless she, well, if she was femme. She was still a woman, but, but she just like I think he'd be more accepting. I think he would do. That's the fact she's trying to be a nigga. Home studs. Oh. Oh, well, maybe, maybe, either, maybe, maybe he either way, he's still he's going to happy. I think his problem is the stud energy. I think his problem is the, the people. Her, her, her being but stud. she's bringing them home now. If she was fem on fem, what if wait, she, wait, wait, she wait. might like fem? She don't like. She can't like studs. She has to like no. But she is the stud. So and I think he don't like that, that. Yeah. right? So that's what I'm saying. If he had a fem daughter that was bringing home studs, he would still have a problem because with it. But if it was a fem girl that was bringing home other fem girls, he might not have a problem. That's kind of creepy because that that's makes very what you creepy. think. Like, what exactly. are you thinking with your daughter? If, exactly. That's creepy. All of it is gets too I think deep. The, yeah, the thing that he's pissed off at is the the whole same sex thing and the fact that the fact that he doesn't like that and he wants his daughter to be a certain way. He gets more upset at the way at uh, trying to make her be like he <laughs> wants her to be. Like you're supposed to be my innocent girl. You're not supposed to be out here kissing other like girls me. and doing. Yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to be like the women I dated coming up or right. the women I use and abuse. And I think that's what scares him is the fact mm. that he has no control over his child anymore. And him pushing harder and harder is not doing anything but like yeah. pushing, her, pushing away. her away. And he sure. don't like none of that shit though. Cause he also don't like like the trans agenda. Mm -hmm. He Nothing don't LGBTQ. like uh flamboyant men. And he can't do anything about like it. That's what pisses him off. Yeah. He like, I'm gonna say whatever I wanna say. So yeah. it's my so, God given right. So stud daughter or hoe daughter. That's what I said. That's uh, oh, me choosing stud uh, daughter, daughter or stud daughter. daughter. You had to raise a daughter. Would you Over rather under? Stud daughter. Stud daughter. 
Like, I don't know if we've had girl, this. Have we had some this hoes. Similar <laughs> I don't know. It just made Why, me think. Who said Illa? No, I said, have oh. we had this, ever asked this question? No, no, no. I was saying, because that's like a, <laughs> well, with the that's like the stereotypical question on Twitter. Oh, yeah. That they yeah. say they tired of hearing thoughts of gay son or thought daughter. They always be like, oh, bro, we've right. heard it a million times. We get right. it. But no, so this is a little stud different. Stud daughter. We going to the barbershop like together. Like for sure. I can see your first Stud friend. daughter. Oh, no. Make it fresh style. I don't want to die. We close shopping together. Young and May or... Amber Rose. <laughs> young and May. Amber. Give me Amber. Young and May. As a daughter, you'd rather raise an Amber than a Young and May. Young and May. I'm but taking, nah, I'm you taking Young me, and May. Give me you Young and May. Go, nah, you gotta go worse Ooh. than that. You gotta go worse That's than cool that. As hell. You gotta do like uh, Snoop from The Wire. Oh, damn. <laughs> sexy Red or some shit. Like. Yeah. Ooh. Snoop from The Wire or Sexy Red? Snoop from the wire. She said, she said, I want my daughter. I'd rather my daughter be masculine and me able to help guide her as a man. Be like, guide then, her as a man. Guide her as a man. <laughs> She's gonna embrace that. I was gonna say, maybe guide her, her masculinity. That's how you wear your jaw. Act like a woman, think like a man. <laughs> Box of briefs. Oh, yeah. the briefs. Only briefs. Well, she, I think that's because I wouldn't want to. Are you wake up? You see your daughter naked on the timeline and shit. Yeah, yeah that's no. out. Yeah, give me, yeah, give me young and May. Okay, yeah, but what if, May ooh, what if your what ooh. if yo your gay daughter still in? Ends up being some sort a of gay hole. What if you gotta a wake up to your daughter? Stud stud what if, knocking bitches what if your daughter? What if your gay daughter get an OnlyFans and she whacking she got bitches the strap with the strap? Yeah. With the strap. <laughs> You I'm never gonna win. It. Let's step tell it. I'm gonna salute it because you not gonna say it. Oh Let's step tell it. You gotta subscribe <laughs> and everything. You gotta support it. Yeah, bitch, you gotta support it. What are you talking about? <laughs> bad ass, bitch. Me and my daughter, me and my daughter, bad bad and my daughter going going what? out. If we both sing together, no, me and my what? daughter going out oh. pulling hoes together. I'm 50 and she like 25. We pulling bitches. Let's run it. That's I'm gonna get the mama. You get the daughter. You be 60. Two man. You got to start now. I will be old. I will be. I will be very old by that time. Fuck you. Going. 1.5 man, not a two man. Like he got a ten year old already. 1.5 man. It's oh, that's cool. cool. I mean, it's, crazy. it's gonna be Ron Isley and Snoop from the Wild. Oh, oh my god! Man. I, I don't that's know. Hilarious. I don't want my daughter sagging. I'm and not shit. raising a <laughs> sagging and shit. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I got a younger cousin that uh, that was like our little. She used to run around all always with us, and she ended up growing up to be a stud. And I'm not mad at it. This thing at says all. she grew up to be a stud. Yeah, she did. That sentence is wild. Growing up to be a stud. I think she's just a stud, right? Ain't that just no? Because it, it, we watched. <laughs> You know how, yeah. What you know want to be? You watch it happen. That's crazy. The you wording is funny, happen. but we know what it means. Yeah. But that's just a funny ass but sentence. I love she the grew way. up to be a stud. I like that was a profession. <laughs> she stood it and stood. She went from taking dick to wearing them. Hey, what's I no, stood it out of you. <laughs> Oh, Time out. She's still a kid. She's very studious. She's still a kid. She's still a kid. <laughs> very studious. Oh, she's, oh. she's like 16. Okay. So we've watched her. Like, now we're getting to that age where it's like she got to go to oh, prom. Oh, Boosie's daughter. Is she going to wear the... We're back to Boosie's no, daughter? No, I'm talking about my little oh, cousin. Oh, okay. Like, oh, yeah, is yeah. she going to wear the tux? Or she's she's going to wear a tux. Like, that's the type of shit that we know. Clean and as a motherfucker. I fuck you know? with the way that her parents let it happen. Because they weren't fighting it at all. Like, mm. we all was watching it. I've never watched it happen from birth. So, so we were watching like a- it, like, everybody was kind of like, okay, like, we peeping <laughs> it. We're peeping it the whole time. And nobody was just really like, we. she was real little, like, I don't want to wear braids anymore. I want to wear Damn. a ponytail. Like, or can I get two French, like, a bunch of French braids? Mm. Like, don't put the baby hair. Like, don't put the knockers. Like, and we're like, wait a minute. Like, okay, she want to wear tennis shoes, like shorts, like basketball shorts. And I fucked with it because it was very organic the way it happened. Like nobody tried to Did stop it. Did she have it. a lot of boyfriends? Uh, boyfriends? Uh, yeah. So when she hung out she outside. She was big in sports. So she, she, she always wanted to play the sports. She was friends. playing the PlayStation with my brother. Oh, All yeah, the other little go. kids was running around. Like the girls. Oh. So it was an organic She was thing. her. I'm doing it Which for is dope. She was and her. And that's what I'm saying. And so that's why I'm that's watching her. Like I love that girl to death. And watching how that happened. I'm not going to necessarily, like, I don't think I would have a problem with it. If you are who you are. Yeah, like, yeah. I wouldn't have a problem with that at all because it was just, that's just who she was. Like, I, yeah. I'd pay top dollar to see, like, a stud convention. I think that'd be so funny. A what? Convention. Like, a bunch, like, a thousands of studs just in one spot would be Nigga, so funny. go to Pride. <laughs> they not studs, though. Yes, they are. They be guys there. And shit. Listen, I'm talking about hardcore studs. Go to Oakland YT Pride. YT studs, like, People a thousand of them. That should be so funny. Anybody who's watching that. Booty, bed, but that's so big, you of can't the LGBTQ tell they got a big community, if you go to Oakland, they know about Bench and Bar. 
But Walk in that motherfucker is a stud convention. It's a stud. It's a stud. Like a stud. Gonna be a right. I'm a vlogger. We're going to go to the stud. Yeah. Oh, shit. Stud strippers. Oh, shit. Oh, Shout out to us. Uh, oh, shit. Star stud is wild. Hard ass booty. That Shout shit is crazy. Shout out to Carter Devine. Right. 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 It's hella stud strippers. I'm going to say stud be thick as a motherfucker. That's, That's why, why they got said. the big jeans on. So you won't be able to tell them. But they don't be, they don't be jiggly. It be firm. You don't have a wild. You don't look like a brat. Manny Fresh. Hurricane Chris. Hurricane Chris. That was Hurricane Chris. Boosie, the brat, and uh, Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh. But yeah, like it's all types of shit <laughs> like that. All you gotta do is go to Pride if you wanna go to Pride. Just say that. I ain't gonna lie, I had a stud homegirl. She she was she one of the best homies to have. What do the stud strippers got on? Do they got like regular stuff or they got like uh, jeans They wear on? like chaps, like leather, like sports bras, like special sexy. sports bras, because most of them are kind of flat chested. Mm. Um, <clears throat> they'll wear like the assless chaps or whatever, like some sort of boxer brief, well, something I think like stud, that. I think or like a sagging jeans and Tim's. It gets no, in there fresh as a motherfucker. That's why I said, shout out to Carter the Body. Carter the Body is one of the first. I know, uh, y'all trying to go? She was one of the first, like. Where? Masculine female strippers that I ever saw, dancer, exotic dancer. I don't no, want to disrespect. There. Let go. But no. I remember because my uh, come on, come on, y'all. My sister in law. Gateway she, drug. It's an experience. I I remember we went because they're 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 lesbians and they took us to the club with them for like a birthday party or something. And when I tell you, <laughs> oh, no. I was in there in shock. Like I was on. I was my sisters. Everybody was laughing at me because I was just sitting there like this. Like I was in shock. I could not move. Since I was how did like, you find this? I said, look up, I'm Car- a stud look up Carter the body. Trust me. I mean, I can see other pe- other women who oh, would like this. This that porn thing when it gets it gets. They do look like money, right, yo? I be kind of conf- not, not confused, but it's always yeah. a part of my brain when you see a stud and it's like this one. Either oh, you. That's a boy, whoa! Man. But see, that's what I'm saying. This was the first. Like Jesus! Oh yeah, she like real, that like real masculine. Ass, <laughs> that bitch beat your ass. <laughs> she not a regular bitch. That's a nigga bitch. That's a niche. That's, That's a, a lady, niche. bro. That's a niche. I hope this get a million views but and she see this shit. Oh, I do too. She gonna come sock shit out. I hope she do. You take I her. I'm gonna take Devin Haney. We gotta box it she out. Beat your ass. <laughs> Tag team. You gonna enjoy it, nigga? But Damn, yeah, look so, at her girl. Is that her girl? Yeah. Where is that girl? Wow. I'm telling you. Locked in. They be pulling the baddies, though, too. They be having some bad ones. And they be fresh as a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I used to have a stud what homegirl back in my hometown. Yeah. She was really cool. Look at that. That's clean, like, clean as hell. That's like a stud requirement. That gotta be fresh. You gotta be clean. I've never seen a not fresh stud. You I can't. Have. That's part of the accord. I, I mean, uh, yeah. I see her. I have. Some of them be walking around <laughs> looking like chic men. Sauce and slummy. Nah. I see. That's what you're going to see them out. They dusty. They be head to toe with the matching Jordans, with the matching jeans, with the thizzed out SpongeBob shirt and the matching hat. Oh, wow. Hat. They always got to fit it on. I always fuck with this, bro. Different levels. Because oh. they are who they are, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's different what you love it. Swim trunks and a and a sports bra at the Six pool. Six wanna smack it. <laughs> Listen. Six, you smacking? I Six, you smacking? Six, Six, are you smacking? You Six, smacking? are you smacking on vacation? Yeah, run that shit. <laughs> <laughs> run that shit. Run that shit. Run Okay, well, I got a question. Run I got a glutes. question. I got a question. <laughs> you can't hold her down. Would y'all, oh, shit. Would y'all okay. have a threesome if one with of the a girls was a and her girlfriend, and you gotta no. hit the girl, she gotta put the strap away. I don't know. We can have boundaries. Even if I don't gotta hit it, it. no. We can have a threesome. We just gotta have boundaries. What's the other? It has to be another hard option. Because if it's just do you want to do it, no. It is a hard option. It's not an option. It's a hard option. It ain't an option. It ain't hard. You asked for it. You can deny. That's what I'm saying. Boundaries. I can deny the hard. Because it's nothing like no. The answer is no. There is no like. I'm gonna think about it. It's nothing to think about. What's the part you don't fuck with? You ain't never smashed a girl. Like ran a train on a girl. <laughs> I had another no, question. No, I'm just asking. No, <laughs> no, I had no. another question okay, before that. I'm saying if you've done that, you wouldn't do it with another no, person. I've, 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 had, I've had homies <laughs> ask me, and I'm like, that's weird to me. A homie asked you? Yes. No, that's part. That's weird. I've never I asked my homie to smack okay, another girl. How do you even get in that situation then? It's not. I used to live a crazy life, like, like being you on tour ask, hotels right? and shit. Like, how do y'all get to that point? That's what I'm saying. How do you get to the point? If she in the room Somebody together, you know she in? going. Oh wait, so you said you lived a crazy I'm gonna wait my turn. Tour. What? So you would whack, you would accidentally walk into a room and then they'd be like, Here. I started smacking a girl while my homie was in the room and but it just then happened. You, you walk away, right? Or you stay in the room and you like? No, okay. we ran. We, I, I come from an age where flipping girls was like a goal. 
Like, it, but now it seems gay or weird. No, it's but, always been a goal. Back in the day, yeah. like, that was the goal. Like, yeah, niggas wanted to be like, man, let's, let's go run this bitch. Shit. Yeah, like. But when I was a young and my other homies, they used to like, I'm not asking one came out the room, the next one went in the room. It wasn't like in That's the That's a same. tag team. That's I different remember, than a train. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I remember my gang bang. My nigga train is, niggas train is at me. the same time. Choo choo, high five, nigga. I've high five oh, my homie. Yeah, oh, that type of shit. shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I come from a different the generation. Eiffel Tower. They hit the Eiffel Tower. I come we from a different generation. Hey, it might be seen pause. Nothing pause. No, it's that young money, young money shit. Cause ain't that what baby said? Now stick. Where is when we make some money, when they come back ten years from now, they're gonna be on your head. I'm it's not that Diddy I'm shit. Not, I'm not taking it back. I'm not justifying. <laughs> right. But I'm talking about back in tour days when Stitty. we used to be on tour. Stitty. It has happened. I'm just Stitty saying it's wild. happened. This was like my best friend, like day one homie. So like it was like it was like part of the woo. That nigga said, like, said, like yeah, yeah, nigga. Both the same. Yes. Not a train. That's, That's the train. London Bridge. That's a threesome with you with the That's a threesome. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 Mouth and opposite ends. Wait, wait. The London wait. Bridge. Opposite ends. The London Bridge is crazy. Two holes. Three threesome, dog. Did y'all switch? Huh? Did y'all switch positions? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like they got the same car. Like, they got the same car. Like, they got the same car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How do you determine who <laughs> gets what? Yeah, we switched. I'm telling you, this was old, just nigga shit to be on tour. You had enough. <laughs> Nobody Nobody you had enough. Switch. This nigga said, no "Who kissed her?" You, you, like, <laughs> it, this nigga getting to the kiss, nitty gritty. No kissing, <laughs> is, is it like competition? Like, does she make bro, more noise? Does she make more noise with one than the other? Like, and she about to be louder with me. Spit around. Spit around. Like, what's like? I just like the accomplishment. Me. Hey, you fucking it up over here, my nigga. High five. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Hey, bro, you That's getting it, huh? Life. Shit, bro. Fuck, bro. You tearing that bitch up. I'm shit. like, get that shit. Stay. Get that shit. Get that shit. Yeah, yeah. my nigga, fucking that shit up. It's my turn again. It's my turn. Flip it around. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, Ella, yeah. I'm fucked, ain't I? I'm so bad. Get with bad. that one move, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, my hey, we can, we can cut this. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We can cut this out if you want. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We ain't cutting shit. Yeah, we ain't cutting shit. Diddy is crazy. Diddy <laughs> yeah, okay. is crazy. I had y'all laugh. Let me just, let me just. Okay, let him land. Go ahead one and land. Mic. Keep that motherfucking head. One mic. One I'm, I'm, I'm like a teenager. I'm late, late 18, 19. I'm on tour. Everything is new to me. And as a kid... <laughs> <laughs> Run, running a train. <laughs> What'd you say? Free, <laughs> said, this thing was having free parties. He <laughs> said, "Holy he said, shit!" Hell no! Y'all dog. crazy. Okay, but look, this was just on tour. Something happened. So as a kid, as a young kid, like as a boy, we like shit. This is what we did. Like we didn't care. <laughs> Come on, bro. It wasn't like playing. I was with the girl. In my bed, and the shit just happened, bro. The nigga just it just got involved. I didn't pay attention can to I, nothing. Can it's, I ask? He was a, here. Wait, hold on, I was hold here. on. Can I ask a few rebuttal questions? Sure, I'm, I'm all for or it. Clarification Go ahead. I'm questions. Open book. Okay. What's up? You said y'all were in your bed, and it just happened. <laughs> the homie was aggressive. Where was he? <laughs> It was it was when we were, we were on tour. We were in a group, so we shared a hotel room. Okay, so it was two bedrooms. Double beds. Double beds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he just happened to be in his bed and was I like, didn't care. "That looks fun." <laughs> <laughs> that looks hey, fun. If I'm hitting the bitch, <laughs> if I'm hitting the bitch, hey. and the homie come hop in the bed, nigga <laughs> 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 in the bed. Nigga, like, what the fuck? Hey, hey scoot over. <laughs> <laughs> what? Watch out. <laughs> no, well, I'll just hey, scoot over. over. Oh, I wish I could call my homie and be like, like, bro, help me. This sounds no. so bad. When you see another nigga, like, get in y'all bed. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just think it was, I think it was one of them things that was just like, shit, it was, it was okay. different. Like, now, I have more yeah. questions. Like, come on, nigga, she hit that bitch. I have more questions. Okay. How, how did she react to this? It was a white girl. It only happened once. The high five thing only happened once. He, I thought, had, he thought that was gonna say "Long as fuck." Long as fuck. I think we've had. I think we've had. I think I've, I probably had more than one train or gangbang situation. Just from like with just back in the day being wild and drunk and shit. But that was the only time a, a high five happened. This is like my like my blood, <laughs> but like. <laughs> We, I, I'm not that gonna lie, we, we London How British. much baby oil was used? <laughs> <laughs> in the, in this How much baby no diddy. Whole bottles. Whole bottles. <laughs> bottles. No diddy. Whole bottles. Two for me? Two for me. <laughs> <laughs> no diddy. Now, 
all jokes aside, I un- I completely. And it's like my brother. This ain't no random homie. It was no pause shit at all. I didn't even see him so naked. It was bro. dark. Like it wasn't looking at him. So how you got you touching? Make eye contact with the lights on. See now how you got you touching? Y'all didn't miss like that. No, nigga. Perfect high five. It was good, bro. In the dark. Open the window a little bit. It was a loud one too. This is some sick. <laughs> I'm standing on this shit. It was a while. This was, this was early 2000s. You hey. standing on it? I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sick Negro. Oh my God. So, six, you ain't never ran a train on a girl. Six no. is four You're young. years old. That, bro. Six, six is four years old. <laughs> six is 16. <laughs> but I'm telling you back then. But look, it's, it's a thing though. You're not crazy. It's a thing. All jokes aside, like yeah, niggas no. do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, no, niggas do that shit. I'm old. I'm going to be 36 the, next month. The funny thing is, my niggas. Tried to get me to lose my virginity to a toss girl, right? A hoe. So, what's that? A hoe. Oh, a hoe. A hoe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Toss oh, okay. Toss oh, yeah. Woo. Anybody catch it? I'm chilling at one of my niggas. <laughs> I'm chilling at one of my niggas' house, and two of my niggas walk in with this girl with a fucking blanket on her head, and I'm like. That's weird. Not that kidnapping, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, y'all got fucking ET in here? Like wrapped around, was, she could see, or it was over her head. I, nah, I could see. Nah, nah, it wasn't like that kidnapped see? her. She had, she just had a blanket over top of her head, like she was cold or some shit. Okay, yeah, I think oh, it was right, cold oh, outside. Like ET wrapped up. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was like cold outside, like September-ish <clears throat> type shit. But they get in and they go upstairs. I'm like, I don't know why they told me to come downstairs and play the game, but whatever y'all about to do up there, y'all got it. One of the niggas come out the room and like, it's your turn, bro. I said, no. It's my it's turn. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, come man. on, bro. You got to lose your virginity. And your what, virginity that's why I hated too? niggas telling my friend circle that I was the only virgin in the group. They was like, we got to make this shit happen for my nigga. We got to pull out all the stops. I'm like, I don't want to lose my virginity in that. That was the yeah. wrong. You should have stopped yeah. <laughs> before you brought her. <laughs> I don't want to lose my <laughs> shit that way. I was like, I want to lose it in a meaningful way. Somebody at least that's the most light skin shit at this table ever, man. Yeah, but it meaningful. Didn't happen, it didn't happen that way. But that's what I wanted. That's crazy. <laughs> love I want to at least shit. know the motherfucking name or know their favorite color or some shit. I'm just hey, you with a pussy. Come on, blanket head, a rock. Blanket Y'all remember losing your virginity? <laughs> yeah. You don't remember your shit? Yeah. You remember your shit? Yeah. Oh, I mean, God, she, damn, said, she said, damn, y'all remember? I had a wild life. Back in the summer of 86. <laughs> <laughs> the summer of 86 is insane. <laughs> That's yeah. nasty. <laughs> yeah. I, remember, I, I remember I lost my virginity. Right. <laughs> Marvin Gaye was on the radio that day. <laughs> oh shit. Oh uh, fuck y'all. I lost my virginity to Marvin Gaye is out of pocket. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Whoa. in the show, bro. Hey, I didn't lose my virginity. Oh, man. Hey, Nobody said late. that. No, I'm saying that's out of pocket. She didn't say that. She did say Marvin no, Gaye. No, no. I said Marvin Gaye was, was on, on the, the radio. radio that day. That's pretty much losing my. I'm old enough to lose my virginity to Marvin Gaye. Is what you say? Wow, it's the word it sounds it's like <laughs> Marvin Gaye took you in the show. You got a little bit there. in the show because I said I lost the virginity to my. Oh, so boys. <laughs> hey, where, where, where hey what's, going going on? what's 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 going on? Episode number like thirty six. We well, better get out of here. We out. Obviously, it's over with. We'll see y'all next time. Right. We love y'all. Bye. Episode 69. <laughs> <laughs>